Hello, adventurers. My name is Maximus, and I will be your dungeon master for the evening. I'd like to welcome you all to the 43rd episode of Campaign 2 of Caches and Cantrips for some of your favorite streamers by Dungeons and Dragons live on Friday nights. I'm joined by our stupendous cast of Bunny Dreffel, Nina Nicholas, Virtual Spectre, and Moves Like Jagger from the GGN crew. Mac will not be with us tonight, but she's with us in spirit. <laughs> Don't. Say Oops. that. You always do that. <laughs> she is with us in spirit. Like her spirit is with us. No, her spirit is in you. her body having a nice weekend. Leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that's fine. Thoughts and prayers. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts and prayers for Max. Max. Oh my god. <laughs> that's all right. I can have the thoughts and prayers that I don't get worse sick today than yeah. I was last week. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take I'll take them. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, hope y'all are having a fantastic uh Friday. I let me tell y'all, I had a day full of errands and I panicked thinking I wasn't gonna have enough time to get stuff ready. And then I realized that in my time zone, I'm like, nah dude, you got like till eight o'clock to get this stuff done, not six <laughs> o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so plenty of time plenty of time uh, some in exciting news is I checked today and we have over 4,500 listens on our podcast where we had below that last time so thank you all for listening to us thanks full gang yeah <laughs> and that's what, that's what I'm calling our gym bros or who are, who are working gang. out listening to us yeah I am a uh, I'm glad that you like to listen to the soothing sounds of our voice. Voices. It's not one voice. That was kind of weird to say that. We're, we're, we're we are now one. <laughs> we are one. We are the Borg. We're not five <laughs> channels, six channels. We are casters of cantrips. I was hoping we all say that at the same time, Vanessa. But uh, casters we did. and cantrips. <laughs> it was it was in unison that you couldn't even differentiate it. <laughs> so, I, I am now the vessel. Ah, yes. Yeah, our unison voice sounds exactly like Moobs. He is mm -hmm. the uh, the voice. That's what we refer to him as. He speaks for us. Not to be confused with the singing show contest thing. Unless you guys want to have Moobs on there. I feel like... I'm not good enough. There's no way. You don't have to be good. We just, we just need the views, man. On the voice? God, that would be a nightmare nightmare oh i guess my is my mic max is doing ventriloquy i hope not because everything looks right on my end oh no frog means in general because oh, voice oh. Oh. jokes it's because we've had <laughs> so we've had so many audio problems before this and i'm just like yeah. <laughs> hypersensitive i'm like is everything broken again <laughs> <laughs> max was about to have an aneurysm during this God, time, everyone. I, I will <laughs> That's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm a laid back person, but like one thing that really just like turns it up to 11 for me are technical problems. I just, I cannot, I can't handle them. We are saying technical problems and dog puke. That's what turns you up to 11. <laughs> no, I just, I just get sad about that. Unfortunately, we've had a lot of both lately. <laughs> yeah. Aww. New house, you know, is what it is. I bought yeah. them biscuits to give them before bedtime so they get bedtime snacks and that should help. Mm. That's what our vet said anyway. To feed them more. Do you need, do you need bedtime <laughs> snacks too, Max? I'll get some biscuits for you. <laughs> I'm not going to say They're kind of no like hard tacks. Snacks. Speaking of like pirate themes, they're kind of like little hard tacks for the dogs. <laughs> for those that don't know, a hard tack is what pirates eat while they're at sea. Sick. Maybe I should have some of that. And it's terrible. It is not a lot of sailors. I mean, you have to like soak it in something to eat it, otherwise, it'll break your teeth. Is it like Broth. lemon spread? Uh, probably, probably, probably worse, probably, yeah, but like worse. Yeah, um, <laughs> well, then I don't want that. <laughs> I don't think anyone would anyone that. wants it. I always imagine it does taste like a okay. I, I feel like I know what hardtack probably tastes like, but this is a really weird reference. I worked at a zoo, and if you ever had a monkey biscuit, I'm pretty sure a monkey biscuit is the same thing as hardtack. Did you eat a monkey biscuit? 
Yeah, I mean, it's fine. The monkey eat them. <laughs> and uh, we are technically monkeys, right? Exactly. We're learning a lot. We're learning a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I can leave saltines out for like two weeks and then we can try it yeah there you go <laughs> it's about to take off the salt if we do another charity stream I'll make us all some hard tack because I have a recipe for it and I'll send it out Boy. I'll have to start making it so it can um, properly desiccate before we eat it I mean extra life's coming up <laughs> that's a good point maybe i will start on some that and i have to figure out how to ship you all chicken soup sandwiches this is probably easier to ship so yeah. Yeah, Nina, how can we ship you, you how can we ship you cooked meat and, and um, <laughs> broth can you the recipe? might have some issues but uh <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see how we go <laughs> it'll be fine it'll get it'll to fine. you Lots yeah. of dry ice. <laughs> I don't even know if that would do it Probably internationally. Not. No. Our border control will what just if? be like, why are you trying to kill all of our native flora and fauna? Please mm. don't. New plan. What if I just fly out there and stay with you and make it for you? That would be ideal, yeah. As, yeah. Quick aside, are chicken soup sandwiches just like soups in a bread bowl? No. Okay. Definitely not. All right, then they moving were, on. Um, pasties, no? They're like a pasty yeah. in game. But I have an idea to make one with a lot of gelatin and slicing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. It's like savory jello. My God. That's what no, I'm thinking of. Um, aside from. Says, hello. Uh, yeah, I know. So thanks for listening to our podcast, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad you're loving it. <laughs> I hope you're so enjoying your lunch, and breakfast, or dinner. Where we Jim talk Crew about... is getting real hungry. <laughs> Sorry, Jim Crew. Mm-hmm. Savory also, gelatin. Also, if you want early access to us talking about savory, savory gelatin and other things, go to our Patreon, where you can get early access to all of our episodes. Um, and as always, you can come hang out in our discord and talk to us about your favorite savory gelatin flavor. I'd like to hear your most wild ideas for savory jello. Um, mine would be tuna. sour cream and chives. <laughs> you want oh, sour yum. cream and chives jello? Talk about this later. <laughs> I feel like I want a Bloody Mary themed jello. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm the only one that I feel like that would good. work better. I feel like it would work better. You know, I, anyway. I do eat um, blood cubes, so maybe it won't be too bad. <gasps> blood cubes? Blood? 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 Why? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not funny. It's, uh, blood? It's, it's like yeah, collagen. It's like gelatin pork blood, and it's cubified, and you eat it with soup. Why do you eat like that? A, it's delicious. Oh, it's like it's not black, like a health thing. It's like black pudding cubes. Good? Yeah, it's basically black pudding cubes. Yeah. Okay, when we visit, uh, I want to try this. I'm called, curious. Uh, Boon Bo Wei. It's a Vietnamese soup. Oh, I've never heard of this good. before. Very good. Well, mm-hmm. today I learned. Now that I'm thoroughly hungry for blood cubes and sour cream and chives <laughs> jello, <laughs> um, if you haven't yet, please check out our YouTube, youtube.com slash at casters and cantrips to watch us where we, <laughs> where we give you content. What was that? What was that for, Moves? Oh, someone in chat said, asked if I was a vampire. I was showing them my things. Oh, cool. I was going to cool. ask, but I'm glad chat did it instead. So. Thanks for calling me out. I feel awkward. Thanks, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked over and you're like, yeah, like, what are your uh, teeth? Polish, polish these fangs. Do it. All right. Get on some blood. Enough with the sillies and on to the. St- to the streamies? No, that's something different. The ro- the the dicies, the dicey, dicey rollsies. Dicey I wish you were should be a today. thing. I, sh- I will definitely win with this tiger's eye d twenty. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm jealous. I haven't found my pretty yeah. dice. We're using the pouring dice today. I don't have my dice yet. I have some dice, but not the dice. My main d twenty is our pretty casters and cantrips one. Mine have seashells in them though. <clears throat> 
Mine's the 80s. <laughs> the 80s? Oh. <laughs> Mine is the ocean. Oh, shoreline. I forgot you had those. Those are so pretty. Hey, we nice. need to post these in Discord later mm. since they're not showing up. We'll do that for people that want to see the dice. There yeah. you go. I love how I have to watch this all on Twitch because on my end, everyone's all pixelated. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hello no. from Australia. But if I watch on Twitch, y'all are beautifully crispy. Why is it like this? It's so strange because we see you clearly. Yeah, because my it's just my connection being like, let me get all of this data. Can't handle the data all at once. Yeah. Speaking of data, let's. I would like some from last week because my brain doesn't remember Jack hey! what I had seen. Great segue. Let's get ready for uh, our episode of Castles and Catchers tonight where I can fill Nina in on what happened last week. Yay! Second. Ooh! Our story last left off with adventuring crew making their way to the Gilded Spire, the auction of the tapestry known as Eternal Harmony. Lucian Ashborn, their art dealer, informed the party to mingle with the elites and talk about the daring adventures that they went on to acquire the said tapestry, where they could hopefully drive up the price during the auction. During the journey, Whisper informed the group that Vorin Azrak would be attending the auction, who was the financier of the Shadow Tides cartel, in which he undoubtedly had several contingencies in play for acquiring said tapestry. When the group arrived at the Gilded Spire, they were escorted through the building into a sort of showroom full of display cases where there were dozens of rare oddities and curios being auctioned for high prices. These particular items were one-of-a-kind items. While perusing the showroom floor, Whisper pointed out Vorin as rock to the party, where Azric and Vorin began having a discussion about the future of the tapestry. After a tense negotiation, they all agreed to a payment of 13,000 gold pieces. And in return, the tapestry would be pulled from auction immediately and handed over to him. And throughout this conversation, Azric learned that the tapestry did not belong to the Shadow Tides cartel. In fact, it was acquired on behalf of an interested party. Promptly after the agreement, the group made their way back to the Unfortunate, where they would be meeting representatives of the cartel to turn over said tapestry. While this trade was in product or in progress, one of the representatives scrutinized the piece with some sort of glass device, revealing glowing markings on the tapestry that had been hidden to the naked eye. After the transaction had been completed, they boarded their ship and promptly left Gilded Atoll with their final destination being Black Rind Cove. And that is where we'll begin our episode for the evening. Congratulations. You left the atoll. <laughs> we, I have a question. We never return again. Yeah, never again. I have a question, mm. though. Did we, uh, do we start with a long... Do we get a long rest? Yes. I have new, new spells that I would like to prepare. Thanks. Yeah. So we had the tapestry, we sold the tapestry, we are yeah. now rich, mm -hmm. we're on the seas, we're chilling. Do I have any extra money? You do. <laughs> and authors. You have a ton of money. Okay, what was I supposed to add? Because I think you I missed that. didn't probably get a chance to spend it because we got money right, at, right before we got on the ship and left. Uh, yeah. Everyone received 2,540 gold pieces. 2,540 gold pieces. It's in plat, though, but gold is just easier. Yeah, because we never use plat. We'll just convert it anyway. What? Okay. Platinum's so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Electrum's the weird one. <laughs> uh, yep. So, as you are on the water, is there anything that you all would like to discuss before or while you were making your trek back to Blackrend Cove? Uh, we, we do want to make some progress on our uh, farming situation on the ship now that we have this money. Is there anything we need to, to upgrade on this thing or perhaps uh, 
hire some, um, I don't know if we can hire some help or on the seas. That won't work. But I, you're the artificer. If anyone's going to know what we need, it's you. But I can't hire myself to build it faster, that's for certain. Well, you won't find any greens out here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, well, uh, back to um, back to uh, tinkering away. If you need me, I'll be uh, in that pile of junk with the machinery and such. <laughs> <laughs> you might try your luck on the island, um, but I don't believe there's many farmers or that okay. sort there. I've, uh, I've lost track of how long it's going to take to make this thing. <laughs> how long has it been since we started making the, this I sprinkler don't know. system? How long were we on that freaking island? I don't really know if you guys it's spent just much time on it at all. No, we spent at least like two or three full days. I specifically remember. Because we had like a week before the mm, symposium. And I did well, we buy a bunch of seeds, and I have berry seeds added to it now. We have eight days until we get to the cove. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of time to go through notes and, and tinker around. Oh, yes, that's plenty of time. Hopefully it'll be done by the time we get there. I just hope uh, we won't need it in the meantime before we get there. Plus, once the seeds <laughs> are planted and you have the water system in place... All I have to do is cast a spell. It does require me to sit and meditate with the plants for 24 hours, though. Uh, well, let me uh, get should started not be on this thing, then. So when we left, it was nighttime, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, middle of the night kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I think when the morning comes around, Aiden will walk the ship and speak to the crew and get a feel for where everyone's mood is at as yeah. we start our journey. In the meantime, I'll be tinkering. Oh, that does oh. remind me I want to talk to Chowder. I want to explain to her what um, a cobbler is. Remember um, the one that, that um, Taj really liked? I'm going to explain everything I remember about it to chowder and let her know that I have berry seeds and that as soon as I get berries that I need her to be able to make those. So she should be <laughs> practicing in the meantime with whatever produce she has fish, whatever she has really she could be practicing. You say fish cobbler? That's uh, yeah. Oh, I think that sounds really good, actually. I mean, it's not what I want her to learn how to make, but she has to practice the dough, so I figure she could practice with fish, because we have an unlimited supply of fish at our hands. But like a, a, a fish soup sandwich she can make? Yeah, sort of like that. Yeah, a fish soup sandwich. Excellent, excellent. Chowder, can you make fish soup sandwiches for dinner? Um, The captain has requested it. Thank you. <laughs> she just looks up and just thinks about it and then nods and then kind of dives underneath like her cooking area and starts pulling out stuff and we got her like a chef's hat and an apron and knife like real knives and stuff mm -hmm. in a way so she like yeah. looks like a real chef now cool yeah, I mean ish yeah <laughs> <laughs> execution is very uh, very much part of the chef part was it one of the tall chef's hats or like one of the more poofy ones? It's like picturing tall. That's what I've been picturing. I'm sure like it's human size, so probably oversized. That was right. But the ears keep it up. Hmm. Huh? I was thinking like a Chef Boyardee hat. <laughs> That's, That's in what my I was mind. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it is. Um, yeah, so it can be the the next day. It's now, I believe, the 8th of... No, it is the... Yeah, it's the 8th of Sextus Sunday. Um, and you can talk amongst the crew or do whatever you wish. 
Uh, I also, believe Aiden was gonna do um, a crew check. Sure. Yeah, just kind of go around, start conversations, like, you know, grab their shoulders and be like, finally back on the seas. <laughs> um, and you see um, one of your crew members. Mr. Kurzak, sort of just like wringing his hands a little bit, looking like looking worried. I'm just stressed. Morning, sir. And he looks like almost looks startled. Morning, Mr. Zoyden. Ah, uh, at ease. We're all mates here. Finally off that island, back on the open water where we belong. Indeed. How's everyone I, feeling? Well, the, the ship is completely repaired and we're underway quickly as the captain ordered. And I'd find out this morning that, well, I don't know how to put this, sir, but Gear and Barry were in charge of supplies before we left and they had neglected to get supplies in time before we left in such a hurry. Now, there should, shouldn't be anything to worry about as long as we make it to the cove on time without delay. Shouldn't have any issues. Damn it. I mean, we were there for what? Over a week? How did we not... Uh... Well, we were instructed to, of course, stock up on more fresh produce to keep the disease to a minimum. And as you would know, Mr. Hayden, you would typically buy that as late as possible to avoid any spoliage. And I think that, unfortunately, they had taken that to mean that most of our supplies should be fresh produce. So when you asked me, we have barely enough to get us to the cove. We have almost nine days worth of supplies. And it will take us eight days to get to the cove. Assuming we have fair weather. Um, Shit. I'm not sure when uh, or if likely when we should start rationing but I that's going to be you in the captain's call well I think it's safe to say basic meals no snacking no extras we have to make it last the crew needs to understand I'll bring this to Azric's attention and uh We'll have to figure out what's to be done about those two. He sort of like rolls his eyes at you. <laughs> Can't be trusted. Well, we certainly aren't putting them on supply duty again, that's for sure. <sighs> All right. All right. Any other issues aside from that? Not that I'm currently aware of, but... If, um, if they do come up, I will, of course, inform you, but I will leave it to you and the captain to make the decision on, on rationing. Um, I will say that on the front end, um, rationing will, of course, hurt morale. Uh, but if we are found without food, that would hurt morale much more. Although, everything could go smoothly and we could make it there in time, so... Well, we could also alter our course, make a pit stop somewhere else. We'll figure it. I'll speak with Azric, and we'll come up with a plan. In the meantime, let's just make sure we have all sails on the wind. And on course for the cove. 
Uh, I would like for you to make. Let's see. What would this? What would this be? Um, roll a d20. Uh, add your wisdom modifier and your proficiency. So d20 plus four. Okay. Twenty-one. You've been on the seas enough to know how these things usually go, and when you mentioned maybe we could make a stop, um, there are several sort of lush islands that are typically uninhabited um, that are on the way, like close to the Crescent Isles, that if things got bad, you could stop and try to scavenge or forage from supplies for supplies without having to stop at a port go ahead Mm. well what I know I'm assuming I would know if we were to stop at a port say Mm Osham what sort of I guess what sort of protocol would go down? Would we have to register our inventory when we get there, or do we just pay a fee to dock or to lay anchor? Yeah, and typically with Osham Miran being like their whole their whole shtick is is trade by the sea. It's kind of the idyllic island life, and most of what they do is just shipping and things back and forth, merchant ships. Um, more on the the legal side as opposed to like the gilded atoll which is basically like a, a very much a gray market um, so yeah with Osham Moran it's going to be part of um, you will probably have to declare anything in your in your inventory things would get registered that kind of stuff whereas the gilded atoll doesn't really care who you are they just care about what you're selling Right. Okay. Well, I think I'll continue to make the rounds, speaking to different people, and then find Azric eventually. Sure. Yeah, you can make the rounds. Um, a lot of the. It's a little s- split. A lot of the sailors are happy to be back on the sea doing their their chosen profession back on the water hopefully getting some prizes that hasn't happened in quite in, in a while uh, they're looking to make some gold and some coin the other half kind of got a little complacent of staying in port at the atoll and having their shore leave and just going to the tavern and just fucking off for a day you know that kind of stuff because when you're at see you really don't get a day off everyone has their jobs to do and they have shifts but that, that sort of thing yeah so they're a little split okay uh. maybe we need a, a little activity for them to uh, get their juices flowing again uh, maybe I can have some volunteers to help me uh, with the the building of the ship. Maybe that's an easy way to get people's hands moving again. Give them some purpose. Oh, are you speaking to Hayden? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, uh, yeah, I, I would have... Uh, should we all be in, like, the captain's quarters? That's up to you, your ship, your rules, brother. I assume I'm, if I'm meeting with Azra, I'm meeting with everyone. Go for it. Well, Unless I'm not supposed to hear what you're saying, it's just an idea. <laughs> <laughs> we can. How's the crew doing after your uh, round? Well, lots of men happy to be on the water. Others, yeah, they quite enjoyed their time on the atoll. But we'll whip them into shape, get them back to. Back to their duties on the sea. Um, was it Kurzak or Karzak? Oh. That told me. You don't even know? 
<laughs> it's Kurzak. Kurzak, Kurzak, Kurzak. Is, is the is the Bozin. Karzak is the lead gunner. Gotcha. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I was informed by Kurzak. The two that were in charge of supplies before we left uh, didn't do their jobs. And we have who were these two? Mm, the ones Max said. Near and Barry. You're in bear. Apparently, they were in charge of gathering supplies. Failed to do that. And now we have maybe enough food, water, for nine days travel. I'm sorry. Who in the right mind would give gear and Barry any semblance of responsibility? You know, that was my thought. But I really didn't feel like getting angry in the moment. It's a sunny morning and I didn't really want my mood soured enough. So, but that would fall under, would that be it? I mean, Whisper was kind of quartermaster when we were away, and then she would have given orders to <laughs> the grin on your and... face. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, the bosun is in charge of things right. like liaison with the crew. They're in charge of like equipment and crew, that sort of thing. Uh, you also know Whisper was appointed to a job specifically before um, the the symposium. So she wasn't on the ship for a few days. Because right. you told her to scout ahead. So that would have left figured. Kurzak basically on uh, in charge. Well... So, two things. One, figure out how we ration our supplies. Two, decide on potential disciplinary action. Oh, it takes eight days to get to the cove. We have nine days of supplies. And knowing our luck, uh, we never get anywhere on time. I don't believe we need to ration just yet. All things go well. We can stop at Antes or Oshamaram for supplies. Or another option is we find a merchant ship and we raid it. Well... On test would be drastically altering our course. Uh, we could try to score some supplies from another ship. We could also find an island to fish and hunt on. So, we're not out of options yet. All right, I say we start rationing on day four. And fish as much as we can. Mm -hmm. well, I believe we should make the cove just fine. All right. Well, suppose our CF friend, Emmy, might be able to help us with fish. Is that right, Emmy? Yes, um, I could help uh, catch fish. Or um, if we find somewhere with shallows, I could go down and get... Um, have you ever had raw oysters? Yes. I love oysters. Um, oysters, mussels, clams, crabs. Sorry, okay. Lobsters. Those sort of things. I could go down and scavenge for those too. 
it's even easier than fishing. We just have to be somewhere a little more shallow. Well, we have sizable crew, Emmy. Oh, do you like eel? No. Oh, Cooter says yes. Okay, so why don't I go and try and catch some eel? It's really easy. You just kind of like wiggle your fingers and then they go to bite them because they think it's a fish and then you just grab them. Don't let them bite you. You could die. I'll leave that to you then. Okay. Would anyone else like to help? Well. No? uh, I could give you water breathing so you wouldn't have to worry about that. And we are. Peter, you don't really have fingers. You have flippers, so I don't know about that. I snap my best. Oh, so I'll draw them out and then you can snap them. Okay. I will say we're not in shallow water anymore. Oh, that's a good point. Well, I don't mean shallow. I just mean not deep sea. I don't know. what What's in between the two? Medium sea. <laughs> We need some <laughs> reef, reef, reefs, some coral reefs if we're near a coral reef. I, I will say, too, that with this being like a potential ship wide problem, you're looking at trying to get enough food to feed like 25 people. So oh, well, I can only it's, give maybe five people water breathing. So uh, so what I'm saying is if you're going to try and solve the problem by like scavenging, um, then it's going to have like a dedicated like, hey, we're stopping here to like forage and scavenge. It's not going to uh, be like while we're sailing, we, you know, throw a fishing rod over kind of thing. Like it's a, to get food for that many people. It's going to have to be uh, a concerted effort, which also includes water. And those oh, supplies. I can make water for 25 people. Can I use purify food and drink on seawater? <laughs> That's very Time interesting. I can make the call, Max. <laughs> Let's I gave you a look. heads up. I gave you a heads up about it. That was before the move in, in life. Was it? Exists. It was like last week. <laughs> <laughs> life comes at you fast. Life uh, has a way. Let's see. Purify. Oh, you don't have it prepared. Well, uh. Purify food and drink. I'm just looking at the exact language. Let's take a look. Then a book. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. Well. Let's see here. All non-magical food and drink within a five-foot radius sphere centered around a point of your choice within a spell of within range is purified and rendered free of poison and disease. Everybody knows about salt disease, duh. (laughs) (laughs) Um... Hmm... It made us all laugh. I, I I vote yes. I can. He wants us to stop on some islands. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I will no. say, desalination would be a fun project for Cooter. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. It's, an plan. it's an add-on yeah. to the farm. I'm gonna okay. do some additional research later, but I think for this episode, I'm gonna say no because it I don't can think. Also just- Create you can't water. Not much. I just don't know if I can create enough. I can create enough for our plants. I don't think I can create enough to give the whole crew fresh water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the um, yeah, I, I think it doesn't. The spirit of the spell would be more along the lines of if you were hiking and found some like stagnant water that had like yeah. giardia and stuff like that <laughs> um, <laughs> or I like poison water 10 gallons of clean water and it also would have to use a spell slot so I don't think that's a very sustainable option either yeah, and so we D&D, should stop somewhere each person needs a gallon a day I believe yeah 
So, so I could get us through like a day. Like if we were in a really rough spot, I could probably get us through like a day as an emergency. But. Well, we're not in trouble yet. We have nine days of supplies. It takes eight days to get to the We'll ration halfway through. Gear and Barry are going to ration right away as their punishment for not getting supplies. And uh, if we're in trouble by the time we pass Oshama Rom, then we'll stop, of course, or we can stop that either. But let's not bring anything up to lower morale. Well, about can it. I still it go try and catch an eel? Just like because now I'm really craving eel. I mean, our, we're a moving ship, Emmy. I... Right. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, maybe when we land somewhere, me and Kuder could go get eel for the crew. Not so much to feed them, but more as like a little snack for morale boosting. You can barbecue it. I've never done it. I read about it. I don't know what barbecuing is. Um with like a sweet sauce, a honey glaze. I don't know what a glaze is either, but I hear that's really good. And I've always saying a lot try. of things that you don't know about, but clearly know about. Oh no, I just read about them in a book. Ah, um, yes, if we have to stop out of necessity, then you can get as many eels as you want in. I've also read about these things called peppercorns. I don't know what that is, but I'd very much like to try that as well. Sure we could find some when we, we get to the coat. I heard they're expensive. That, then we will not get it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I guess that's better than me getting my hopes up. So thanks. Amy, you got 2,500 gold. You can buy as many peppercorns as you want. You don't need your, you don't need no man. <laughs> I don't know about peppercorns in this world. Spice Road, I don't exist here. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Any other discussions that you want to uh, have before we start thinking about what goes on during travel? I want to roll for encounters and travel. Sick. You that was, the, that was me speaking for the group. For a merchant ship we can raid. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Very well. Um, whoever's going to be handling the, the rolly duties today for travel, I would like rolly for you. Duties. Yeah. Um, roll me a, a D eight. At it. Did you say not it? Yeah, I said not it. Oh, okay. I'll do it. <laughs> I thought you said I'll do it. That's what my brain hurt. Okay. I, I thought like, you said no. I'll do it as well. Okay, I'll do it after all. Let's see what I get. Well, hold on. Who's taking okay, charge? What? Who's rolling? I'm rolling. You're rolling. Okay, go for what it. Am I rolling? A D eight. Oh, that's good, because the D20 wasn't good. Seven. Seven. Okay. So as you were traveling along um, past the atoll and you sort of get out of the sphere of influence of the atoll, <clears throat> um, a day passes. It is the morning of the ninth. Um, and Cooter, while you were getting up early and looking out the gentle sunrise of the sea, um, you see a ship uh, approaching. Your uh, ship. Uh, ship ahoy. Is that what they say? Ship ahoy. You can say whatever you want. There be it a water vehicle over yonder. Can I see if there are any like flags or insignia or some kind of whatnot on it? Yeah. So you you yell ship ahoy to to everyone as you do. Uh, and you can see give me a give me a perception roll. That did not land it. Here we go. Well, wait a second. Hang on. I have to add numbers. Hold on. Hold on. Hold yeah, on. add numbers. 17. 17. <laughs> um, so 
it's a ship that's approximately the same size as as your ship uh sort of a small fast nimble ship sort of built for speed and a lower amount of crew um similar model as yours um it's it's kind of approaching and you can see that they're um are sort of full sail at the moment the crew is is working heavily on the deck uh, but at this stage you really can't tell like what it is can we can we can tell it's dimmed away like how how far uh for distance i mean if they're uh, close enough we can see crew that seems pretty close yeah for in in ship's terminology um yeah i mean it's close enough that you can see crew it's you're not sure if they're approaching you or just heading in the same general direction which this particular direction that you're going isn't necessarily uncommon because if anyone's going up from and i'm looking at my map over here sorry as why i'm looking this way <laughs> i'm about my janky setup right now <laughs> um but this direction would be anyone who was leaving the atoll and potentially going towards Osham Merland. So there could be shipping lanes here, people going to and from. Uh, it's not an unheard of place to run across ships. Is there a danger that if we rob someone, if we get on board and then we realize it's like Lucian ship or something? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good, good answer also look at this I'm sorry uh, Emmy can you uh, be a darling and uh, run into a bird and, and scout out the ship first please oh yes also I have a thing I wanted to tell you I've been practicing that I can do now yeah. um, how do I explain this to someone who's not a druid and is really stupid about animals <laughs> Um, so there's this thing I can do. So like if we were to find like an animal, like a whale or like a orca or a shark, or I don't think a dragon turtle is a beast, but maybe a big turtle. Uh -huh. I could cast a spell uh -huh. and I could beguile them. Yes, we all know what that means, Emmy. You know what beguile means? Yes. So you know about my spell? Yeah, if you maybe okay. told me the spell name, maybe, but you can charm an animal. Right? I can dominate an animal. It's oh, a little yeah. bit bigger than a charm, actually. <laughs> Emmy, uh, you don't have to be mean girl anymore. You, you can oh, mean. no, I was just I was trying to explain it because I didn't think you'd understand. So I thought I was helping sorry uh, I too well versed in magic so right but this isn't the same magic as yours so like uh, but I also have this is druid food. magic it's totally different oh well, just because it's true magic doesn't mean arcane does not your have magic food. is arcane magic there's like a reason that that's illegal okay. you know but I <laughs> still dominate monsters if I wanted to but not animals Right, but yeah, so you understand totally different. that it's adjacent. The theory. No, I don't. I don't really think it's the adjacent. Me the mechanisms of no. spell is still the same, but it's just a different category of a beast. They're not beasts, though. Yours are monsters. You just said that, so it's not actually the same. But, but what I'm saying is, Emmy, that the the, mm -hmm. the process. Mm -hmm. and if I may, yeah, yes, Hayden. Mm -hmm. I mean, that sounds like a wonderful spell, and I'm sure I'll have use for it. Oh, uh, before you go, though, um, is there perhaps, a, if if it all looks relatively safe on this ship, uh, is there perhaps a message that you'd like to send them? Because we can also imbue one of, uh, um, you know, a marble or some such tiny non-magical object with a message, if you'd like, to either lure them in or communicate well, can, in some way we're going to get close enough to throw a marble at this ship 
Well, if if Emmy's going to fly over there, she oh, can right, right, right. drop yeah, it off. So this is, I can actually just turn into, um, she like looks at Aiden and like, a seagull. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Precisely, I, and I'm holding I a, a spoon I, and I drop it when she says seagull. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm holding like a, a pen, and when she says seagull, I, oh. I yeah, and, and drop it. I'm like, oh, Emmy, you know how oh. Asa Hayden feels about seagull? Okay, well, I could turn it into something else, maybe like a sparrow or an eagle. All right, he doesn't right. need to walk. Hold on, things, uh, things are getting out of hand. Let me try to realign us. A ship is coming. I want to find okay. out if it's a merchant ship or not, or if it's a pirate. I want to know what flags they are flying. Do you want me to turn into a seagull, yes or no? Again, Emmy's like watching Hayden's face. I cover Hayden's ears. Yes, please. Okay. I like awkwardly walk behind Cooter and then turn into a seagull so Hayden doesn't see it. I mean, I'm like, worried. She really she just still All sees I'm it. saying is, if you want to take them off guard, you might want to send them a message, uh, you know, before um, Emmy gets back, just to, because they see us too, obviously. Right. But um, since we acquired this ship, we have a flag that runs Lenara's colors, so we can raise that and trick them if they are merchants. Oh, fair enough. Just a contingency worth thinking about. <laughs> as you were. As we you were. Out of here. That's that's all I want to know. I want to know what flags are they flying and what the crew looks like. I fly over to the ship. Okay. Um, you fly over to the ship. Um. So you make your way and it's, I mean, it's reasonably close now. Um, definitely well within like firing distance for each of the ships, if you were uh, so inclined. And did you make your way over, Emmy? Um, can you make me a perception roll as a seagull? Wait, what do you want me to, you want me to pretend I'm a, you want me to... I want you to roll a perception like you're a bird. Oh, okay. I thought you said roll deception like you're a bird, and I was like, perception. I literally, am a bird. Okay. I was so confused. Okay. Hold on. I just realized I didn't. This is my fault. I did not have seagull stats up. Mm hmm. I'm working on it. Um, I found nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's no. There's found no something called a dire laughing gull. Can I be one of those? No. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use Raven stats. Is that okay? Without memory. That seems. They're big birds. Let me take a look real quick and see what's something that would be. Um, Penny beast. Comparable. I just won't use the. I just won't use the mimicry, but I'll use the passive perception. <laughs> Let's see. It's that or an eagle, uh, which is I a think, bird of prey, which is different. I know a lot about birds, actually. Yeah, I mean, I think a raven seems close enough at this okay. point. OK, so my passive perception is 13. My perception, they have a plus three. And so I roll. Can I use my inspiration from last time? Sure. And then I have a question. I took. Never mind. I thought you froze for a second, like your camera froze. <laughs> like you just stopped so abruptly. I, like, I took Elven accuracy, but that's for attacks only. So I got confused mm -hmm. for a second. So 14, 14 perception. 14. Um, so you're flying over and you can see it's a fast ship, very similar, almost like the same, like same make type of ship as yours. Um, you can look at the deck. You see, you see some people, um, sort of doing their duties, sailing, uh, and you can see that on the deck there are, um, a couple people in the crow's nest, one person using a spyglass. Uh, you can see that on deck there <clears throat> appears to be, like, a small retinue of, like, 
soldiers or like guards or like someone to like protect the ship maybe um and then you can see someone who appears to be in charge um and you can see that she has like short um like just past her jawline like pink hair um she is you can tell that she is half elven has very sharp angular features um she looks very very commanding and she's giving orders to people uh, sort of has like a, a aura of authority um she's wearing some very um elegant looking like armor and gear has a very nice cloak um does she look like she's a ship's mage um you're you're not sure it doesn't look like any wizard you've seen um you can see that she's sort of adorned with like um like her sleeves and like her breeches are like a dark maroonish color um and her long cloak is like gold on the under underneath and then black on the outside um oh, she and you can fancy. yeah and you can see that all of the um sails are just unfurled except for one that still appears to be rolled up at the top like a like a small top sail do they have any cannons or guns i want to look for them specifically uh yeah i'm there are uh there are places for cannons theirs are below deck unlike yours uh where yours are above deck are you saying like their ship's the nicer than ours? I mean, yeah, it's a little nicer than yours, but... Okay. Maybe they just got, like, the newer, like, the newer model. You know, maybe yours is a couple years old. Maybe theirs is the sport edition. Has a spoiler on the back? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fly back to... My ship. It's painted red, so it goes faster. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll land and like as I'm landing, I will un seagull. So I land on my feet. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay. Well, flying's really, really a thrill. I haven't done that before. That was my first time, actually. <sighs> so they look like they have me because they have this captain and she's got like a really cool look. Okay, and are they merchants, pirates, uh, military? Oh, um... Uh, Did you see a they're, flag? They're people on a boat. Did I see a flag? Nope. I didn't see a flag. Saw one sail that was not unfurled. You saw a couple of armored people on the deck. Definitely not pirate vibes. And, not pirates, yeah. but, but not really sure. So I'll give them all the details of what I can remember. Um, did it look like like they had intent to you come after us? Or they were just saving? They're just well like giving orders and Yeah, she was giving a lot of orders. And they were but they had one seal that wasn't unfurled, and I'd have to imagine if they were in a hurry they would have unfurled that, right? Unless that sail is a Jolly Roger. Oh, What's a Roger? Well, Roger is a, a humanoid name, uh, typically, mm -hmm. but a Jolly Roger is, is the pirate flag. So it's a emblem. happy humanoid? It, well, it depends. Well, okay, we're not getting into this. They could be pirates, uh -huh. maybe, but... I don't think they're pirates. Okay, so... They had armor, though. Did they have... Uh, Hayden, can you prepare the ship for a potential bombardment and have the crew ready for an attack? Yep. Do you want me to fly back over there? I could, like... I don't know. Drop something on them. Like, like bird poop? No, I'm not going to do that. Gross. That 
We'll just keep an eye on the. I'm just thinking trajectory. more like a bucket of puke from Cooter. Ah. Wait, how's that different than bird poop? Well, hers is acidic and it would um, burn through their sails. It would, yes. That's uh, that's correct. You just have to aim bird it. Bird poop properly. would just look really gross. I think we'll keep an eye on the ship's trajectory, and if it looks like they're coming towards us, then we're going to prepare for battle. Okay. Um, it can also turn into an eagle. Can I turn into a giant eagle? I'm so sorry. I wasn't prepared to be able to be flying creatures as much as I thought I was. Because <laughs> um, right. I could carry Wait, one of you all over there as well. And just... I am very small. Teeny, as some might say. Oh, yeah, I could be a giant eagle. That's huge. I can, you like, easy. I could drop someone off over there. Doesn't even have to be small. All right. Uh, they're not flying a flag. So we're going to trick them. We're going to okay. raise Lenara's flags and see what they do. Okay, what do you want me to do? You sit here and look pretty. Do you, do you <laughs> need, oh, okay. Emmy's whole face turns red and she walks away. <laughs> Alright, Master Hater, please. I'm now out of combat. On, please. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'll give the orders uh, to hoist the Lenara's flag. And... Yeah, and Hayden's just shouts and like, you motherless dogs, you ugly bastards. Prepare for combat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, twofold. You're preparing for potential combat, but then you're raising the Lenaris flag. Right? Yeah, more, more like yeah. be at the ready for. Gotcha. Trying to bait them to see if they're gonna hoist pirate flags or not. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, yeah, so you make way and, um, they're starting to get closer and you raise your Lenaris flag while you are, um, preparing for battle and they, when you raise the Lenaris flag, they sort of turn towards you, um, and start heading your direction. They still haven't shown anything yet. Um, and now they're at like, a like a medium range. They're not like right up against you. And you see that the single sail that Emmy, that Emmy may have mentioned to you that, Hey, this is what the ship looks like. There's a single sail. Um, they unfurl it and it is a maroon, dark maroon color with a gold insignia that Faith. immediately, yes. We know you what that is. You so boldly interrupted. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. We know what that is, don't we? Do you? That's the people that I found their tattered sail from the other ship. Yes, they unfurl the sail um, and it strikes fear into the hearts of some of your crew in that a ship of the Divine Order of Conservancy, a hunter, has entered your sphere of influence oh and that's not good you hear um a loud voice coming from their ship and it is almost a sort of supernatural loud voice and it says um they say over Lenaris ship, please lower your sails. Routine patrol, you will be searched. Not if we kill them first. <laughs> Why did Nina's mic come in so hardcore for that? <laughs> it did. What's that? Life came in so oh, hard. Just, she was just uh, like, we're going to the first. 
Pooter's Batman. Pooter is Batman. It's uh, probably also trying to mix with I the would... mowing going on right outside my we window. We just heard the mowing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I start. Isaac starts the panic. Oh, fuck, what are we going to do? What are we, do we fire? Do we surrender? We don't have any contraband. We don't have wanted. any contraband. We can we just let them search the us. Contraband. We are wanted. Oh. oh. Okay, now should I turn to a seagull and go and drop acid on their ship? <laughs> no. No. Okay. We, we need to last form in case we... Would you like me to summon ship? some elementals and send them over there? Uh, That's probably the last thing we do, right? Oh, okay. Are we going to pretend like everything is normal? Are you kidding me? With this crew? The... Okay, what if we pretend like everything is normal until they get on our ship and then we go, surprise! I vote we open fire. Oh, that's not I what agree. I was expecting. I... Emmy, there are five people on this ship that cannot be caught. Five? You, Taj, Cooter, Whisper, Whisper, and Magnol. Oh, I keep forgetting about him. Okay, that makes sense. Is there their ship's faster than ours? Newer model. It's got a spoiler. Damn it. Can spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Which makes sense now that you know that whose ship it is. Alright, so we can't outrun them, and if they search us You are you confident in our crew's ability to pretend that we're not pirates? Take them out. I for one am awful at deception. There will be no chance. If you put me in front brutal. of these people, we'll all be caught out. I'm with the captain and Kuda. I, I, right. Whatever you all want to do is fine by me. Prepare for combat. Leave no witnesses. Okay. Cool. Um, sounds good. Can I ask a theoretical question? Yes. I have a spell called Tidal Wave. If I use that while we're at sea, can that be like if a tidal wave hit a ship? I'll have to look at it if you decide to use it. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to know if I can knock people overboard with it because it doesn't specifically say that, but it's also not written as if you're using it on another ship. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Sounds good. All right. So it is combat that you all seek. Is that correct? Correct. All righty. Then combat you shall find. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. In combat you shall find. Um, I will say that it is common knowledge um, that their ships um, are meant to be relatively inconspicuous until now, which makes sense. Um, but you're up against something that is, in this case, not bigger, but faster, stronger, is definitely in play, so. Alrighty, um, with that, um, I will say we should probably take a break while I get some things prepared for this. Um, oh and I may be DMing you all some secrets too, so please check your messages. Secrets? <laughs> Combat, what? Interesting. <laughs> Unexpected. Alrighty. Uh, so for those of you at home, uh, we're going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere when we come back. Um, there's going to be some fun times. So don't go anywhere. Go just make sure to get some snacks and stretch your appendages and we will BRB.
And welcome back, everyone. Hopefully you've gotten your snacks and stretch your appendages and maybe found a beverage or eight. And where we left off, um, y'all done stepped in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. A hunter from the Divine Order of Conservancy attempted to stop you in a routine patrol. And you said, nah, dog, I'm not all about that life. Uh, and you decided to attack. But the reason is because we are all about that life and we don't want them to know. No, no, we'll take us alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think it's time to, to show you what we're working with. Um, and aside from that, let's get some combat music, question mark. Does that seem appropriate? Yes. That seems very appropriate. All right. Seems good. Let's do it. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's everyone see what's going on. Some groovy fighting music, damn. <laughs> We're officially James Bond. Ooh, wee. Uh, this song by oh, Tabletop yeah. Audio is called Drowned Sailors. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I don't like that. I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, so, what I would like for you all to do. Um, is Let's see here. Let's get some. I could have swore I had this all figured out, everybody. We they are 260 feet away. Uh huh. Help me spell check my brain. <laughs> I can't spell today. What is word? I know it's embarrassing. So I think what we'll do um, is we're both going to roll initiative here. Um, I, I will, ch or you will choose who's going to roll initiative for your ship, and I will roll initiative for the vigilance. Does the ship use our? The ship has its own. Oh. <laughs> and then uh, its initiative is a, though they're both minus one, so. Well, then I'll Ships aren't very dexterous. I'm asking this, like, for the chat, because, like, chat is wondering. Chat, you're wondering. You're wondering. Um. If we wanted to increase the initiative for our ship, how would one do that? Well, maybe perhaps you could go find some additional upgrades for your ship at a ship's right. Uh, perhaps there are even magical alternatives to do so. Ye, but only ask. Oh, interesting. Thanks, chap. Thanks, thanks, chap, for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the question. Alrighty, so how this works. Um, and um, you're gonna have to bear with me, everyone watching at home, because I got a little baby screen over there and then the computer I use for the showing y'all the map, and I'm gonna have to be moving it around a lot. So <laughs> um how this works, um, and if you have somehow forgotten how your ship works. Um, lucky for you, I will just paste your stats over to you. Ooh, hey. Your ship can take three actions. Um, and basically you can fire cannons, um, or you can move. Um, 
and it takes one action to load cannons and one action to fire them. So what I will do is I will pretty much just ask you all uh, as a crew what you're planning on doing and if there's anything else that you would like to add to this, you can. You can assist some of the other um, crew members and if you were to look at some of the rules I posted last time, find it. There's specific officer um, actions that you can take as well to help out the crew. Sorry, I'm trying to pull this book up. It is book. Yeah. For some reason, I had everything else prepared except for um, this. Um, so, um, typically in the encounter, you, you each have two special actions that you can take being the officers. So you can, um, take aim. Um, so you can select one of the ship's weapons that's within 10 feet of you as an officer and you get advantage on the attack roll, um, before the end of the ship's next turn. And then you can also do a full speed ahead. Um, and you can basically apply the total as a bonus to the ship's speed. So it's a D six multiplied by five. And I'm going to roll a dice to see which way the wind is going. Cause that is important to seven, eight, um, the, the wind. Was that just a drawing that I did? How clever. No, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Wind's going that way. Um, northwest. I'll just now say that for the, the sake of, yeah. Bottom ship or top ship? You are the ship without the red sails. Oh, okay. I see it now. And mm -hmm. you are top ship, right ship. Um, okay. I think um, before this thing is gone, Hayden will uh, go up to Azric and say, um, before this thing kicks off, by appearances, that ship may be faster and have more firepower. So in a straight up fight, we'd be at a disadvantage. I would suggest doing what we can to properly disable that ship so it loses its advantage. But take out their spoiler. Yes. <laughs> I'm all for it, Quartermaster Hayden. Uh, fortunately, my spell range is limited to 120, 150 feet. It gave us a uh, serious advantage and we are much further away than that. So. I could conjure some animals to fly us around and then we could cast things on them. That's not a bad idea. Well, those are all great ideas. I meant maybe perhaps trying to take down its mast or, I don't know, hitting its rudder. What if I hit it with a tidal wave? Sounds awesome. We should do that. But I'd have to be closer. Oh. Let's worry about that. Let's go with Hayden's plan. Take out the master rudder. And if that's disabled, we can just swim on out of here. Right. Wait, we don't want to board them. You don't think they'd have a bunch of supplies? They very well could. So well, if we disable them, they most likely have no other option but to surrender. But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Battle stations. All right. All right. 
Everybody ready? Ready. So up first is going to be the unfortunate. You all rolled higher. So what would you like to do? You are currently a long way <laughs> from them. Uh, it looks like our cannons. Yeah, we're too far. Let me measure. A. I think we can reach. Can our cannons swivel to their uh, starboard hull? Um, so you can. You have two swivel cannons on the front. Um, you have four cannons on each side. So. I think at that at that particular angle, um, you would probably have to move or maneuver the ship in order to. You could probably hit him with maybe one gun if you fired now, but you can move, turn, do whatever you need to do. <clears throat> I would like to move and turn towards their ship so the two swivel cans can get gotcha. lined up. Oh, so you want to go head on? Yes. So we'll turn you. Oh, okay. So that's it. Ah, uh, <laughs> got it. And... You are going up to, let's see, you are not with or against the wind. You're kind of parallel. Um, so you can go 35 feet if you want. Yep. Your swivel's range is 250. So you tell me how much, how far you want to go. I think from this range, we are on target. Yep, you could. So a quick turn fire and away. you want to fire away. Okay, so um, one action to, to turn and then one action to load, one action to fire. So you can roll swivel cannon. So whoever, two of you can roll one of each um, and you're rolling a d20 plus six. Plus and six. Uh, you're aiming at their hull, I guess, because that's all you can reach currently. Yeah. If someone wants to fire cannon two, I'll roll for cannon one. Ugh, I'm feeling lucky. Let's go. Twenty. How much are we adding? Plus six. Oh. Twenty-one. Both Yo, of them hit. It, was, oh, it, was, it went between the one and the seven, and then it just. <laughs> oh. Both oh. of them. Both of them hit. Uh. 2d10 each, and let me know the number. 2d10 each. Oh, yeah. 17. Okay. Fourteen. Got you. The 17 does enough damage. Um, the 14 does not exceed the damage threshold for their hull. You have to get at least 15 in damage to damage their hull. Mm. I ruined it. <laughs> so you hit and the cannonball sort of glances off of the side and from the front swivel. And then uh, Azric's other cannon that he shot actually um, landed the blow on their hull. So. Oh, that's a high number. Alrighty, you have done some damage to their hull. Um, anything else anyone wants to do while they're on the ship? Uh, yeah, just make sure everybody's doing their jobs for right now. Okay. Uh, just remember, you can do specific actions as an officer if you would like such as these two that I'm going to paste to you. <laughs> yeah, that's the, what I was wondering. I'm like, what can I do? I'm, I'm pretty I sure do? they're pinned. Um, but also, if you have spells, if you have ranged abilities, any of those things, those can come into play as as well if, if What's need the be. What's the range again to the other ship? 240 
feast Jeez. currently. Okay. Uh, ooh. So wait, we can each do a thing? Mm-hmm. So I can oh, no. oh. take aim for the next hit. Yep. That we attempt. Uh-huh. I shall do so for whoever rolls next. I want to yep. cast a spell. Okay. So remind me um, of that for the next shot that you guys take, and then go ahead with what spell you're going to do. I'm going to cast this because it's not it's not concentration, so I'm going to get this out, and it's good for an hour. Um, I'm going to run up to Azric and just be like, good luck, Captain, and I'm going to cast Freedom of Movement on him just in case. Okay, oh. very nice. Mm. I'll paste it to you, Mims, but for chat, um, basically, he doesn't have to worry about like difficult terrain or being restrained by certain spells and things. Mm. Mm, spicy. You. Just in case. All right. Up next is the Vigilant. They will turn up to 90 degrees. That's the wrong way. Sorry, I meant to go the other way, but it still equals 90. It was just all the way around. They turn 90 degrees as they see that you're facing them. They are... Yeah, they're not 100% with the wind right now. It's sort of northwest, so... Um, but they can choose to move up to... 45 feet and their officers are going to do full speed ahead. Alrighty, that's an extra 20 feet of movement. So they can go up to 65. <laughs> so they come here. Oh, I was measuring and not actually moving. Um, actually, yeah. They're coming up this way. They can't quite turn enough since they did a 90 degree that direction. So they'll be able to hit you with a cannon and a swivel is what I'll roll there. Um, you notice as you were looking at um, their ship, uh, they have five cannons on each broadside instead of the four like you all. Ah. So they have 10 total as opposed to eight. Um, so first I'll roll for their swivel cannon. And that is well within, yeah, within range. That is a natural one. Woo! Sails over. Um, and then I will roll for their eight pound cannons, which are bigger than your cannons. That is going to be a six. Uh, pretty sure that's the ship's AC. They're aiming at your sails. Ah, well. Um, and they are going to be doing. Oops. Jeez. Um, they're going to do 30 damage to your sails. Yikes. That was a very good hit on their part with those rolls. Um, and that is what they're going to do this turn. Um, back over to oh, the unfortunate.
Uh, so minus 10 feet of speed for 25 damage taken. So we lost 10 feet of speed. Yep. Okay. I would like to move the ship forward and align our side cannons so we can fire. Okay. How far forward? Uh, uh, what's our speed again? Uh, thirty-five feet. So we're at twenty-five. So I guess twenty-five feet then. Oof. And then you want to turn which direction? To the starboard uh, or the ports? Uh, port. Port. Yes. That direction. Does that look right? Yes. Alrighty. Yes, um, so movement. That was one. Loading and firing, I guess. Yes. Alrighty. Um, so you've got four sh four cannons per side. Everybody rolled a d twenty. And, and Nina, you rolled advantage. All right. Perfect. Can is there only one officer action per turn? Let's see here. Um, yeah, each of you can make an action, an officer's action if you want. Okay. I'd like to, for one of the guns, oh, we're firing four, right? Uh-huh. So each one, one of them, probably. yeah, the take aim. Okay. Can That's I take cool. aim for mine too? And we're uh -huh. aiming at their mast and sails, right? Uh, let me see our distance. Yes, we can hit the mast from this distance. There you go. So can we all take aim? Yeah. That's the only thing that your character can do this turn, though. Why? Roll the nat 20, baby. Hey. Very nice. Uh, I rolled a 19. Okay. Or, sorry, I rolled sorry. an 11. That's, um... That's 25, actually. Oh! <laughs> that's okay. Um, would you roll? Would you roll a uh, recruiter? Twenty-three. Okay. Um, three out of four hit. So, um, Emmy's misses with a. Would you say twelve, eleven? I rolled an eleven. What's what do I add to it? Oh, you rolled Six. an eleven. Yeah. So yeah. you can add plus seven to that. Seven. Okay. Eighteen. Yeah. So you all hit. So all of you roll damage. Nice. All right. It is 3d12. Oh. Oh, 3d12. Um, since I critted. Different, them's different dice. Same crit rules. Okay. So make sure we'll do these one at a time, and I'll, I'll ask for moves first. Okay. I my D to uh I got sixty damage. Sixty total? Yes. Oh boy. Wait, how? What? Beefy crit. Critted. Yeah. How? Oh yeah. Oh. Um, oh. We're doing we're doing beefy crits. Hate it. Yeah. Yes. Oh. What's your damage? Uh three D twelve. Uh-huh. Let's see. Uh, that is 20 damage. Alrighty. What about for Emmy? 18. 18 damage. And then Cooter. 16. Alrighty. <laughs> That's enough, okay. though, right? It'll just be over 15, right? Uh, that's for the hull. So what I think is going to oh, happen okay. here uh, oh, is is y'all are about to disable each other and just fucking duke it out <laughs> until somebody dies. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's 
so they're at minus 30 speed right now, I think. All right, I think that's everyone's turn. Um, over to the Vigilant. So if they're at minus 30 speed, that means they can go 15. Come on, boat. Oh, I'm measuring and not moving again. There. I think that they are going to full speed ahead as, again as well. Okay. So an extra 30 on top of that. They're just heading your way. And uh, they're going to hit you with a broadside. Alrighty. Um, first one is off. It is 20 to hit. Twenty one to your sales. Thanks. And the next one is it's 21 to hit again. Yeah. Jeez. 27 to your sale. Fuck. <laughs> What's that? I uh, just, I'm just saying fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm um, tracking the, the damage. <laughs> the third one. Yeah, that's 20 to hit. It's 30 to your sales. We have no sales. Alrighty. Um... Boy. Alrighty, and I think they have one more shot as well. And they're going to aim at your helm. And they get exactly an 18. Okay. Twenty-five to your helm. Oh, I'm scared. This big, big numbers. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's all that they're gonna do. Um, I think pretty much what's gonna happen is is everybody. If you run out of sails, I'm just going to drift <laughs> every turn, right? I'm doing something crazy on my next turn, yeah. so. Uh, okay. And the current. The unfortunates. Can I go? F how does this work if we want to do something like cast a spell? Do we have to roll for initiative or can I just say I'm going first? It'll just go on your ship's turn is the easiest way to do it. Right, but like, can I go first before them? Sure. I'm going to conjure two giant eagles. 
Okay. And I'm just gonna yell something about I'm I'm gonna go throw spells at them bye. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna hop on a giant eagle. Gotcha. Let me Let me get some giant eagles. So you're conjuring two of them. I think I can conjure two. It says I can conjure two CR ones and they're CR one. They are CR ones. Yeah, so I conjure two of them. So there's an extra one waiting and it's like, does anyone want to ride me? Um. Oh, I can't cast magics. (laughs) Anyone with range can get on one. All right. with him while I get some eagles. But if you don't, then you're you have to man the cannons. Hayden, I'm gonna take the eagle. The ship is yours. Yeah. Wonderful. A ship that's going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> just love it. A ship towards them and we'll just drift towards it. And then we can steal their sails. Alright. Grab the half broken helm. Fantastic. All right. Um, so that's your turn, Emmy. You're on. An, you're on an eagle. Mm-hmm. Um, how far can they? Well, they can go what? Um, eighty feet. Speed is a eighty foot fly. Uh, I will say, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing eagle to ship stuff that's okay but I think if you start going around their ship then I'm going to start bringing in their crew to combat you just so you know that's totally fine Cool. I'm going to try and cast spells at them from the air and if you want to shoot me out of the air I'm going to regret saying this but have at it (laughs) just remember there is a couch that you might have to sleep no I'm just kidding it's right behind me (laughs) It looks so comfy. It's, it's probably comfier than the bed. I took He's a like, nap oh, in it okay. today, actually. <laughs> all right. Uh, I, because we're all on the same turn, I'm going to also hop on a, an eagle and yep. fly 80 feet out. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put your tokens next to each of them so I know which eagles is whose for now. Um, okay. And then I'm assuming you all are just going to go... 80 feet, 160 feet, you let me know. Uh, I will go 80 because that gives my spell just enough range to hit them. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Like here. Does that work uh, for yep. you? Okay. Yep. Perfect. And then what about Emmy's eagle? What is, where's is that going? Sorry, some audio just started playing and I'm losing my mind. Um, oh. No, it's it's on my end. I can fix it. I can turn it down. Oh, I know. Uh, it's it just, on your end. Just... It just threw my brain for a loop. Is that in? Got it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to get as close to the ship as possible. Got and it. I'm trying to stay on the eagle. 80 feet done yeah and then that means next turn i can cast something Azric, what shall you do whilst sat upon this eagle i'm going to cast hunger of hadar inside hungry the hungry hadar portal to fill the inside of the ship with my whispery goopy tentacleness how big is it that is uh 20 feet radius 150 feet range 20 foot radius Bear with me one second. So this, I believe, one of these. Yeah, one of those boys. Okay. 
Um, and then what is your ship doing? Uh, I will let uh, Hayden and Cooter take care of that. Since you, since you all are no longer there to have an opinion. <laughs> So, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm just here. I don't have any. Oh, well, the range is too far. What do I do? Let's see here. Can we continue firing? I feel like we won't be able to see where we're. F I guess if we fire into the smoke, we'll be good. This is all happening at the same time, so it's on the yeah. same turn. Right. Plus, you can see where their ship is. It's not completely in engulfed. Yeah, so it's kind of like there and a bit to the left should be good. I mean, we can't really move. Um, I say we just take more shots. Hot shot it up. Take aim. <laughs> take aim on one of the cannons. So two out of the four get advantage. Correct. Four, right? uh, I will say. Let's see, it's 20 feet. OK, never mind. I won't say. Um, so you're doing take aim, Hayden. So your shot has advantage. What about Cooter? What's Cooter doing? I'll probably do the same. Gotcha. I can do stuff if I'm closer, but otherwise, all I all I can do is man the cannons. <laughs> okay. All right, both of you roll. How much? How many things are we rolling? We're one cannon each. Is yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you'll you'll both roll for two cannons, and then one of your cannons each will have advantage. Does that make sense? Mm. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So that's. Three D twenties. Yeah. Yeah, like one like one D twenty and then two D twenties. Exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Gotcha. And then plus six. Uh yes. Excellent. So twenty four to hit on mine. Still firing at their Mast slash sail. Okay. Um, what's so 24 on one of yours? What about the other? Oh, you, you're alive uh, for two I mean, cannons each. Only one has advantage. <laughs> that one misses. Okay. So the 24, roll your damage for me, real quick. Okay. Uh, 23 damage on that. Woo wee. Alrighty. <clears throat> and then what about Cooter? What are your two uh, cannon shots? 23 and 24. They both hit. Roll some yes. damages. And then are they aiming and at the sails as well? Yes, I dare okay. say. Uh, so it's 3d12, three, three right? Uh huh. Again. Um, 20 for one. 12, four, four. Yeah, that's 20. Uh-huh. And then, uh, and then, uh, tw uh, 13. All righty. Um, you see their mast sort of buckle and then start to fall off of the port side and lay over. Uh, so both of you all are drifting. <laughs> <laughs> and what Tokyo I'll say drifting? is you're just going to drift like a, a square, I guess. <laughs> or I don't know. Let's all randomize it. I'll roll to see how strong the current is each time. Um, okay, now it is the Vigilance turn. Um, man, they're not happy about that. How do you want to do Hungry Hungry Hadar? Um, so... We're not, we don't have combatants yet, but there's enemies involved. This is true. 
Um, so what I will do is I will make a note of this uh, on my sheet since since you're using tomfoolery uh, on the ship. It is only fair for them to react to your tomfoolery. Um, so on their turn, um, one of the members on their ship with this capability will cast spell magic. <laughs> okay. So I don't know when the damage takes place. Uh, or... The start and the end of their turn. Gotcha. Um, so what? what's the normal damage roll for that? Uh, so the first part is 2d6 cold damage and the secondary is acid damage but if they spell it then they won't have to take the secondary do the do the 2d6 cold damage and then I will equate that to um, a potential of how many crew they lose so like 2d6 divided by three is how many crew members they'll lose <laughs> do do, do, do well, your do your damage. Uh, so I rolled nine damage. Okay, so they're gonna lose three crew members. They are down three. All right, let me make some notes to, to make sure that person's spell slot was used. Actually, uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not in range. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> very well. <clears throat> so your hungry, hungry Hadar is dispelled. Um, they are going to drift. I'll let you just you all decide on what I was thinking for the amount that they're going to drift, since um, with the current. I was thinking rolling like just a d20 that doesn't really make sense because it's in increments of 10 feet on this big map uh well if the wind's going northwest shouldn't they drift northwest yeah I'm trying to figure out how much to stay uh, square I, uh, I guess a square I was, mm, yeah I think a square is fine Zeus says 30 feet around is Boop. equivalent to three miles per hour. Yeah, that doesn't seem like much of a drift. So they drift. Um, and so they drift. And then they're going to shoot uh, five cannons at you all. They're going to turn their ship to, to make it to make it honest. <clears throat> um, An honest ship throwing. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, they're going to take aim at your helm. The first shot is a natural 20. Well, <laughs> by helm. I think that's your helm gone. I don't, I don't know if I even have to roll for that. Yeah, it's, it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's already at 25. Okay. Um, Alrighty. Um, that's one done. There are five more. I'm just going to roll for hits now just to make this a little easier on myself to figure out how many. Um, they're going just for your hull at this point. The first one is a hit. Second one is a miss. Miss in a hit. So two more hits on your hull. I haven't found my dice box yet, so I'm just like rolling on like my notebook. <laughs> um, Twenty-nine damage to your hull, so that passes the threshold. Uh, and then the other one. Twenty-two damage is also going to pass your threshold.
Um, and that is going to be their turn. I guess they might should start using take aim since they can't go anywhere anymore. All right, and fortunate. Well, Can I cast a spell from my eagle. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Because I want to cast tidal wave on their ship, which I don't know how we're going to do this, but my goal is to see if I can knock any other people off the ship, ideally. Send him to JV, David Jones' locker. Eh? Yar. Yar. 30 feet there. long, Yar. 10 feet wide, 10 feet tall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I... That doesn't sound very big for a tidal wave. That that sounds like a uh-huh. tidal splash. It's like a baby wave, but it's it should still be able to throw some water on their deck and maybe like mess yeah, them yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Like even if I can keep them from shooting their cannons this turn, that would be worth wanna, it. It's basically a mage hand punch to the face with water. <laughs> yeah. Each creature in that area must make a dexterity saving throw. Well, they have over 20 crew members. Um, so in a 10 Start foot rolling. space, um, that would be, I'm going to say that in I'm your area, the there are four people. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Five people. Wait, Is that better? Wait, <laughs> wait what if I do? <clears throat> Is it 40 feet thing? bigger. It's well, I'll just width. throw a storm on their on their deck. Are Would you changing be the rules now? No, I just I didn't realize it only hit that few amount of people. It's only 10 feet wide. It's 10 feet tall yeah. and it's 30 feet long. <laughs> and what I'm saying is instead of well, if it knocks them off. OK, if it knocks them off board, then yes, let's do it. I want to okay. try to knock some people That's over. What I'm trying to do Even if it's one or two. OK, what's yeah, your spell yeah. save DC? <laughs> It is 14. Two out of five fail. Okay, that's good. They're just there. I mean, this does 4d8 bludgeoning damage. And at this point, you're attacking sailors. So they're just dead. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, what? Like, yeah. Success. Unless you don't want them dead and you want them in the water, but I mean, I just wanted them in the water. I didn't want to kill them. Too bad you don't did a cooter. It, it does. It does four d eight damage to a sailor. What do you think the cannons are doing? Clockwork <laughs> Burley Martin. I thought they could take a hit. One hundred adventurers. Man. They have a deck full of berries. Fine. <laughs> oh no! It's all they all had scurvy, on. maybe. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Yeah. Emmy suffers emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Azric, right. what sort of horrors would you like to befall upon this crew? Oh um, my god, I feel bad. Okay, so if I use oh, and chatter, upset pizza. Sorry. Will that? also inflict damage to the hole since it's um if it passes the damage threshold yes okay I'll, I would I have to get within uh, I don't want to get within 60 feet though I'm just gonna I'm gonna hungry hungry hadars again so I'm gonna do uh, blind them and get them in the little little slippers gotcha okay I will note that in a moment. <clears throat> um, what about the ship? What's the ship doing? Mr. Hayden. Ship's not doing a whole lot. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is a thing. Probably not. <laughs> um, if we were to try to like aim higher up on the hull to try and like hit their gun. You can aim at their guns. Most definitely. I would, I would love to try and aim a volley towards their cannons to try and destroy or disable some of their cannons. Absolutely. 
So. Ditto, take a name. Take a name. Alrighty. Here we go. First shot. That gonna miss. Yeah. Uh, that's a 17 on um, one. Uh huh. And a crit on the other. Nice. Excellent. They both hit. Roll the crit first. So that's 36 plus whatever. My, 36 plus the roll. My second shot uh, was a 22 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit too. So 36 plus 36, <laughs> 41, 45, 46, 56. 56, okay. I can numbies. I do um, the numbies. Are you aiming both of those cannons at the same cannon or separate cannons? That's a good question. Mm. I think both of mine would. I feel like I would have gone for separate ones. Okay. Like they would be aimed at just yeah. to make the most of it. Because you never know when you'll get a pot shot, you know? Mm hmm. And then. Dang it. Um, that was terrible. And then the other one was <laughs> 10. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, it just like bing! 10. <laughs> it just like took out the guy next to the cannon. So it, sh it didn't do anything to the cannon, but it's momentarily just. <laughs> All right. Hayden, um, which ones would your cannons have been shooting? A third one, the second one, or the first one? <laughs> uh, well, the. The shot that hit, I think I'd be trying to hit a, a separate cannon from the ones Go she for fired it. at. Uh, damage is uh, 22. Alrighty. All of their cannons are still operational. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, you all were supposed to drift. Hold on. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Um, alrighty. Up next, the vigilance. They must drift. They must drift. <laughs> they must also take cold damage. Um, they're using the, the another slot to dispel your magic, so. Okay. Same rules as last time, by the way. Alright. This time it is 10 damage, so round down to three. three. Okay. All righty. Um, they can only take two actions now. But they can't go anywhere, so... <laughs> Alrighty. Um, first things first. Uh, not that. <laughs> Where's my ruler? Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. I was like, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Wrong one again. Stop this madness. Um, they can't quite reach Emmy's eagle, but your eagle, Azric, is in range for the two people that have longbows on the ship. Ah, okay. So they're going to attempt to shoot at your eagles. Or your eagle, I guess I should say. Since since y'all playing dirty. 
Uh, the first one's a 19 to hit. Uh, and the second one is a 15 to hit. No, 14 to hit. Those hit, Emmy. Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to get my... Um, Giant Eagle AC a, 13. Yes, 14. they hit. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I found um, it just now. And they're going to do... They have like 26 hit points, so... 16 piercing damage. Okay. We'll note that. Which, which one was that? Minor hit? His. I've got the HP marked. Oh, okay. For it. If you got it, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh. <clears throat> I'm looking to see if there's anything else that anyone can do in range. Uh, so bear with me for a moment. Yes. But I think they're going to save that for now. Mm. Now they won't. They are going to cast Guiding Bolt at Azric's Eagle. Oh, boy. And that is... Sixteen to hit, which I believe hits. Yes. Guiding bolts. Forty-six. That's fifteen damage. And that was to, to Azric's eagle, which I believe is mm. now. Dead oh, and yeah. falling out of the sky with you on yep. top of it. It's not technically <laughs> dead because oh, no. it wasn't really alive, but yeah. I mean, it is it's, no it, longer. It's years. Yeah, it's gone. Saying. Um, so by the time your next turn comes around, you're hitting the water essentially with fall speed nope. and all that other stuff. Um, on to the ship. Um, they're gonna take a full volley at your ship. They're gonna do one take aim since the other officer. Um, promptly getting bolted your friend and I think that they are going to take a similar attack um, and they are going to pew pew at your cannons so first one and I'm glad that I did that take aim one of them was a natural one, which would not have been good. The other one is 17. Twenty one. <laughs> that is on your front left cannon. Next shot to the same cannon. They're focusing fire. That is also going to hit. Jesus. Oops. It's 47, which takes out your front left cannon. misses fourth one misses fifth one hits thirty it's on the next one in a row 
Alrighty. Back over to the unfortunate's turn. Things are about to get real spicy, and I, when when all, when nobody has any cannons, it's six hours later. You finally drift together, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <clears throat> um. Okay. Uh, as I am flying, or not flying, falling towards the ocean. I'll use my bonus What is flying action. if not falling with style? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, as a bonus action, I will activate Radiant Soul and mm. Sprout Wing. Fantastic. Mm. Oh, cool. I don't know if this has happened yet in the campaign. It has. No, nope. it has. I don't. This is the second time. One time. That's true. Yeah. One time. But you should describe it again. Stops, right? You know, like for chat, not for us. Just like mm-hmm. for chat in case for they chat. missed it. Yeah. Oh, well, the these blinding radiant lights sprout from my back in the shape of feathers, uh, as they, as the brightness illumination fades away, you see black feathers, uh, with golden trims. As I flap my wings into the air. And uh, I'm, I guess I'm glowing a bit. My eyes, maybe, perhaps. And uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to shoot. Oh, what's the range on Eldritch Blast? 120 feet. I'm going to shoot. What are your some... eyes glowing? Like gold? Yes. Ooh. I'm but is not going to be happy. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm going to shoot two Eldritch Blasts. Uh, Trying to aim at the cannoneers. Okay. Well, one at each. So two rays at two individuals. Okay. So that's a 24 and uh, 26. Yeah, roll some damage. You got it. So the first guy will take nine. Okay. Or well, twelve because radiant soul gives me plus three damage. Mm-hmm. And the other person takes uh twenty-one. Gotcha. Okay. Couple crew down. Uh, Emmy, yes. what are you gonna do? Unless Isaac, you wanna do anything else? I would like to get my range again. I'm going to move back 30 feet. Uh, but it's not my turn. So could you move me back 30 feet, please? Or I'll move. Uh, I'll ping for you uh, right here next closer to Emmy. Yeah, we're doing a kind of like off off the rails combat here. So apologize. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> All good. It's interesting, though, that you that uh, it's set to you can't move yourself out and it's not your turn. Cool. Amy, what are you doing? Um, first off, I'm going to do something that I should have done before now. Sorry, Azric. My eagle on their turn would like to take the dodge action if possible. Got it. Smart. That brain. would have been smart to do before <laughs> Azric fell, but it gave us a cool epic wings <laughs> moment, so it's worth it. Um, and then I would like to... Past. Oh, that's concentration. No. Uh, shoot. I think I just have to keep doing tidal wave because that's the only non-concentration. Um, no, you know what? I don't care what happens. Let's do this. I feel like going wild. Um, my eagle is still dodging, but I'd like uh-huh. it to get me closer to the ship. How much closer? If it can drop me off, that'd be great. It can get you this close. It's 80, right? Uh Uh-huh. Okay, let's go there for now. Because of the scale, each square is 10 feet in this. Yeah, so we'll go there next turn. Maybe we'll drop me off. And for now, I'm going to cast another tidal wave. Okay. Try to get some more people 
but can I do it in a way where I don't I don't want to kill people? Sure. We can, I know we it's can a just spell, say we can just say I those just guys wanna... are are I mean I see There's what you mean. <laughs> but, just yeah. knock them into the water. What happens once they're in the ocean? That's between them and the ocean. Yeah. All right. <laughs> They'll just be asleep in the water. That's an agreement they made being a sailor. Is that okay? I mean, we can talk about it later, but it seems fine. It's going to knock them off the boat. So. Okay. Just like the best, this one time. I won't hold you to this in the, the future. Part, the bad thing is, is you're doing 4d8, like, bludgeoning damage. That's to this the part spell. I don't want to yep. do. I just want to, like, tidal you wave. A couple people. Mm-hmm. I just want to tidal wave, like, just like, they, they can't stand up anymore in it. We just, we just, on, off the deck. Also, all the cannon just fire the that's been going on the whole time. We're just, that's not me. That's Cooter. We're just cleaning the deck. <laughs> Cooter's used to killing people. I mean, either way, um, the bodies are in the ocean. Whether they're dead or alive is another thing. Two of them are gone again, by the way. Okay. They're swept away. Gone. Gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> 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 um, what about the boat? <clears throat> also, you all need to. You all need to drift. Azric, you need to drift. You're in the sea, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm flying. Oh, that's right. You are flying. I forgot. Yeah, he's I a thought beautiful, you were swimming. He's our beautiful golden boy right now. That's right. My bad. Yeah, I'm trying to stay golden, you know? Boat crew, what's the play? Well, I love we, have, we have three cannon on this side now. You do. Oh, you have no. no helm. You cannot turn. <laughs> nope. Uh, we can't get anywhere. Like we can't, we can't swim over that far. <laughs> <laughs> um, shall we try to take out cannons again? I guess we have to. Like, what else is there, right? At least we try to take out the dudes on the cannons instead of the cannons, <laughs> well. cannonball dudes. I, I think the implication would be like anybody that's standing near that cannon and it dies, we'll they die. Okay, cool. Let's do that. The same cannons as before. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of abstracting cannons as sort of like a like a seek of a siege weapon. Like you yeah. target like ships, you don't target like individual people. Because if yeah, that's yeah. the case, then Azric would have been fucked. <laughs> he would be gone but not forgotten <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah it's not like a people target thing so um which of the are they like can we aim for the ones that are just like the lowest the most damaged currently like we can probably yeah. see like which ones are the most damaged and which ones aren't. absolutely i would like to take aim at one of those ones go for it from my one cannon because <laughs> the other one died. <laughs> and then Hayden, who has better rolls, can take the other cannons. <laughs> I don't know. You, you've been you've been hitting more than me, I think. I'll do a take aim on one. All right, let's do cooters first. What is your what's 22. your roll? That's a hit. Roll all the damage. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. That cannon's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whatever okay. you I'll roll. roll anyway, um, just in case. Well, it was at 11. I, I, it's okay, so barely, yes. <laughs> Yay! See, I'm glad I, I cut up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I mean, I spoke too soon. Um, yeah. Hayden, it go for it. Imagine if it was like nine. Um, okay, so that one got blasted. I, I guess whatever the next most damaged one is. Makes sense. And it's a. T- 24 to hit. It hits. Damage. Ooh, big numbies. Uh, 21 damage. 21? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. That cannon's still cannoning. One more shot. Go for it. You want to take it, Nina? Uh, I don't feel lucky. 
Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, that's 19 plus 6. It hits. Damage. Not as good this time. That's 8 damage. Still cannoning. Guys, I am stressed. Oh. I'm just sitting here eating chips, just like constantly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty. No one knows what's um, gonna happen. Up next. Uh, drift. <clears throat> next week, Max gonna come back and be like, what happened? Um, what did you do? Why so, are you all dead? <laughs> Just tell um, her their ship insulted her looks. She'll forgive us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, first things first. I mean, you're going to take two, um, your eagle's going to take two shots from those scouts. They're okay. disadvantaged because of dodging. dodging. Um, that one helped with the dodge. Uh, this one does not, though. That one does hit. It was 13 plus. Okay. okay. You're tracking that? Yep. The damage? Okay. Yeah. I haven't rolled damage yet. Um, this one hasn't taken any damage yet, though. Don't Six piercing. So it takes a hit. And this is this? 60 feet from the boat. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Hmm. I need your giant eagle um, to make a charisma saving throw. Charisma saving throw? Yes. That's interesting. Okay. We all know how charismatic Emmy is. Not me, it's the eagle. Mm-hmm. Oh, the eagle. The eagles are more charismatic than me, I feel like. Um, <laughs> nine? Um, fails. Okay. Um,. <clears throat> Let's see. (laughs) The eagle disappears out from under you. Oh, man. Um, Mm. The eagle poofs out of existence for a moment. And Emmy, you start to fall. Okay. That spellcaster's doing work. Uh, so you hit the water, Emmy. Uh, the other no. ship. Do I hit the water? How long does a fall happen? The fall so I have speed. a thing I can do, but it's not a reaction. In the world of D&D, you fall 500 feet in six seconds. How long is the turn? Eight seconds? Six seconds. <laughs> Around is six seconds. Okay, so on my turn, maybe just before I hit the water, I could do something. I don't, I mean, it depends on what you're trying to do, but. <laughs> I'm trying to turn into a giant eagle myself. So why does that matter if you're in the water or not? <laughs> no, I, I don't want to hit the water at, at a 500 foot fall. That could kill me. You're not falling 500 feet. That's the speed of which you fall. You're not 500 oh. feet in the air. It's, you're, you're not taking damage. 
Like gotcha. you're falling okay, into the okay, water. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I thought we were higher up. My bad. No, <laughs> unless that's fine, you wanted I can to hit be. The, but... No, I can hit the water. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna hurt you. It's fine. Oof. Um. Okay. So cannons away from the vigilance. One of which is gonna have aim. Um, and they're down to four cannons. So the first one is going to hit your cannon. Twenty nine damage. So that cannon has one HP left. <laughs> Um, next cannon, normal roll, eight, that one's going to miss, next one, it's going to hit, that cannon is going to be gone, leaving you with two left, and then the last cannon, it's going to hit, Thirty-eight damage. And that cannon has twenty-two HP left. That last cannon shot was some pretty high rolls. Um, already they have. Did they drift? Yeah, they drifted them. So back over to the unfortunate. The unfortunate will drift. And at this rate, unless something happens. I'm like, I'm going to move y'all this time, but um, unless they start doing anything fancy, you're just drifting parallel to each other currently. So <laughs> and when that changes, I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, Emmy, what do you do? Are all of our cannons dead? You have two. How many feet am I from their their ship? You can measure it. You said these are 10, right? So 10. Oh, use the ruler tool. It's like 50. OK. Um. I didn't expect my eagle to go down so fast. I'm sorry. Um. I'm going to start swimming to their ship. I can make it 30 feet and then I can dash to get like onto their ship. All right, let's see. So 60 feet would put you basically. Like, I don't want to be on their deck yet, but I want to be like the side about to be for next okay. turn. Please tell me this isn't like Sea of Thieves where they can like hear me climbing up the side amidst all the chaos. <laughs> that would be insanity. Well, they just shot you out of the air, so. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's a guy right. with a blunderbuss. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, actually, I could conjure more animals instead of dashing. And that's a 60 foot, so I could swim 30 feet and then conjure animals onto their deck. OK, let me know what you're what you're doing, because I don't I'm not going to move you in anymore or we can come back to you if you need to sorry uh no i'm just gonna swim to their their boat that's my turn it's fine all right there you go uh azric what are you doing i'm gonna fly forward 30 feet and am i able to target their mage with my blasties of 120 feet Roll a D100 for me. You got it. 34. You're out of your range. Okay. I'll I'll blast the uh, one of the, the archers. Gotcha. Shot the birds down. Okay. 
So a 20 and a 17. Uh, they hit. Uh, the first one is 11. Okay. The second one does uh, 12. All right. That one's down. And that is my turn. Uh, what about your boat? <clears throat> what about our boat? That's a good question. Think- you got two cannons. <laughs> How many cannons do they have? Still? Yeah, they got four. Three. They have four still. I thought we killed one. We did. They have more cannons than you. Oh, yeah. Shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Well, oh, what is what is we going to do? What is, we're so far away. I don't know. Do you have any tricks or something? Not really. <laughs> Not really. I can't, I can't fly. I can't transform. Oh. We're too far away for me to do anything. I think. Well, <laughs> We're too far. I can take out my crossbow and stop pinging <laughs> people at disadvantage. <laughs> let's let's not do that. Um, <laughs> I say. For lack of any other options, continue to fire and hope we do enough damage with two cannons to continue to take out their guns. What if we, if if we have less guns, why don't why don't we try to go for their hull again? If we take out the hull, then we don't need to worry about the guns, right? Well, no. Or is that just too too hard? I don't know. I'm just a little turtle. I don't know the engineering of a boat. Oh, wait, I've actually designed one. Oh, no. My plans are a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we I guess we go for the cannons again. Yes. At advantage at the next damaged. Yep. Go for it. There goes, okay. Hope for crits. <laughs> I think I missed. 17. Okay. Uh, 17, you're aiming at what? At the, the next most damaged. That, that hits. Right damage. Guy, okay. Oh, ooh, okay. That's a 14, 24, 25. Another cannon down. Yes. All right. We just need Hated. to out cannon them. <laughs> Correct. Um, <laughs> that's a 22 to hit on that one. Uh huh. About. Yeah. Let's see. 20 damage. Alrighty. Their turn next. Uh, let's see here. One of the scouts is going to shoot you, Azric, since you're within range. All right. 15 to hit. I'm going to look and say yes. Okay. You will take five piercing. All right. And let's see. I think that's all that's going to happen right now. Um, Both of the officers are going to take aim with their cannons. 
So one cannon shot at your hurt cannon. That one will hit, thankfully. Another nat one has been mitigated. You're down to one cannon <clears throat> at this moment. Um, second shot with take aim. That is going to hit the cannon. Thirty-three damage. All right, I'm and sad. last. Cannon shot. That's 17 plus some other stuff, so that will hit. Twenty-eight damage. I think that's we, it. We have no cannons, do we? You are out of cannons. <laughs> and you have no rudder, so you cannot, or your helm is gone, so you can't turn. <laughs> and we're drifting. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> Help. Um, you hear another loud message. Um, at this point, um, since you can see closer, they're using thaumaturgy. To speak loudly to you all um and you see um the woman who Emmy had spotted earlier with sort of that pink hair cut down to the um like to her jawline almost um says loudly uh to you all we have disabled your weaponry surrender now and we'll spare the life of your crew it's over She the I don't one think disabling we even... the spells and stuff. Oh yeah, okay. You would. Yeah. She looks important, so sure. You didn't see any of it happen, but you you have a feeling. You're like, I bet it's that person. Okay. Oh, do we even have a white flag to raise? I don't know if we packed one. <laughs> We'd have oh, to use Chowder's Chowder's chef hat. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, <laughs> Just the chef wave hat it from the deck. <laughs> Uh, I, I think we do that on behalf of our captain because he's not on the boat and we literally are completely defenseless and have nothing and no way to get there. Don't you fucking dare surrender. Get the cannons from the other side. <laughs> Wake Drag it if you have to. The ship. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, we need the cannons from the other side. Get them quickly. <laughs> My strength is plus one. <laughs> yeah. Is that the for real plan? Yeah. Is she waiting? Are we? Is she waiting in a, a response? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Before you guys will go. Um, I guess you're closer, so she'll hear you, but we're so far away. I don't, I'm trying to see if I have something equivalent to her boom voice mode. Uh, he was yelling it towards the ship and for effect, but at this point, you're like 120 feet. You could probably shout and they'd hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you are not in this position to order a surrender as you are drifting as well. Hey. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Zip it, Hayden. I'd rather not die, thank you very much. 
What do you think's gonna happen if we get captured? I don't know. I'm quite charming. I'll talk my way out of it. It's, it's true. You're damn handsome. <laughs> oh man, we're screwed. unfortunate's next um your ship has no cannons so you can't fire you can't turn to get to the other side of the cannons but i'm on their ship you're climbing currently i'm gonna climb uh, up on their deck okay and i'm gonna turn into wait a minute i changed my mind I was going to go giant octopus, but I just realized I could be something else. Even giant or octopus. Oh, I can be a brown bear now, can't I? I think you could, you've could. you always been a brown. You could have been a brown bear, right? I was a black bear before. Oh, maybe. Is a brown bear a grizzly? Is that the difference? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, screw that. Don't mess with a grizzly. Yeah, you don't mess with that. Scary. Um, let me let me see if that's what I want to be. Can you help me quick math, Max? Uh, yeah. So they're they're basically the same ship size. So they most likely have the same crew size. How many have we dispatched? They had more crew than you. Ah. <clears throat> um. They had silent, um, little more crew, more cannons. Um, yep, that's all the information you would, you would glean so far. So I want to be. A giant octopus. After all, okay. What's so my goal is to climb up and get in range of their caster and turn into a giant octopus. Okay, large. Give me one moment, please. So, yeah, I need I need a moment, please. Um, right side bar 10. Emmy is large in charge. Sorry, configuring. Please talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> so, maybe how's everyone should, today? Maybe we should at least uh, uh, try to act like we, I don't think our team's backing down, but maybe we should prepare to try to look like we're surrendering and 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 prepare our our manned defenses. Well, I mean, every man and woman on this deck should be ready for a fight. We've been in one. But perhaps we should set a, 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 a trap uh, on deck. Do you have one? I mean, we can all prepare our... We can all prepare to react as soon as we have an opportunity. Right. So, if they attempt to board, we attack them. Unleash hell! 
Just I'm like Ezric sure. would want. If we're going down, we're taking them down with us. Right? Correct, but hopefully we'll still have Emmy to not let us go down before she has friends in the sea, no? Well, I don't know how exactly her magic works, but I think she is currently a large octopus over there. Um, Show of hands, lads on deck. How many of you know how to float on your back in the middle of the ocean for an extended period of time just in case? No reason to panic. <laughs> Four of them raise their hand. <laughs> Emmy, what you see on the map is currently your view. Azric, you're a little farther than that, so you're way off, like 50 extra feet off at the corner there. Okay. I'm going after the leader. Okay. So I climbed up and then I want to run towards her and then turn into a giant octopus because it has a not a very fast speed. I'm Does that make you sense? Wanna, well, you can move yourself. It's... Oh, look at Luffy. Oh, look at the kisses. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm really distracted. So sweet. That little boy loves his dad. <laughs> um... <laughs> I want to run over there as Emmy, and then once I get next to her, turn into a giant octopus. Move, move yourself how close you are. Sorry, yeah. you, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There we go. Okay. And then I want to try to... I'm going to try to tentacle her. Okay. Which means I can bludgeon and then grapple. Okay. Oh, actually, it has fit, it has reach, so I don't have to be that close to her. Is that okay? I fix that. Yep. Right there, fifteen foot reach. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Uh, see, that's seventeen to hit. Uh, miss. Shoot, it's the armor. Okay. She hits you hit her armor and she puts your shield up to block it. Okay, that's my turn. Alrighty. Um Azric, is there anything that you would like to do? You're on the other map you are 110, 120 feet away, so you have about let's see. 45 feet to make up before you're on the map. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'll am i dash forward. And, uh... Or no. Yeah, I'll... I'm going to... I'm not going down like this. I'm not surrendering to the Conservancy, and I'm going to... I'm going to ask my patron... For help. Okay. I need more power. All right. You'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. Um, and then Hayden and Cooter had their discussion. Your boat's kind of floating. You're preparing uh, for the worst. I, I guess I should ask. Is there even a feasible way we could have some crew attempt to repair the sails in any meaningful amount of time? Not in combat, because these are six second rounds that's what I like thought. it's possible if your guys aren't fighting anymore to make some kind of repairs and limp to the nearest island or what have you um but in the middle of combat no way like both of the both of the the masts of each, of each ship are just obliterated and your your helm is obliterated too right now so i wish to prepare my mend spell <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you find two Unless. splinters and you put them together. Bloop. <laughs> Great. 
Alrighty. Um, let's see. I'm I'm going to. Um, do some of this um so i'm gonna do their ship turn first um they have crew still firing they have three cannons none of them are gonna have take aim because they're gonna be occupied with the octopus um but they are gonna fire at, at their ship or at your ship um the first one misses the second one hits and it's going for your hull now. Twenty one to your hull. Uh, next shot. That one hits. So I believe it's one miss and two hits. Come on, I need to find my damn dice tray. Oh boy. It's 26 more damage to your hull. You are at 152. Currently, um, and um, as you sort of approach and enter our um, kind of posturing, um, this is all happening as giant octopus goes onto the deck. So I'm kind of doing ship turns, and then this combat, you hear her just just yell, "I will sink your ship, and all of your crew in it will suffer because of your braggadocious nature." Their deaths are on you now, Captain. Alrighty. Um, and then now we'll have another combat <laughs> combatception. Um, I need to roll their initiative real quick. Sorry, hold on. One moment. Emmy just like 1v1ing the whole ship. Like I don't, uh, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I might die. I think we're Oof. all dead. I think uh, does anyone have any good ideas? <laughs> Emmy and Azra, go ahead and roll initiative. And then Hayden and uh Cooter. Whatever y'all do, just let me know. Uh if y'all just decide you're gonna start rowing or swimming, let me know. But um things are looking looking wild. And then Azric, you're like 15 feet off of the map currently. Okay. So Emmy initiative, Azric initiative, please. Okay. I have uh, 14. Five. Okay. Up uh, next. This one right here. <clears throat> they, with their bonus action, cast Shield of Faith on this lady. Of course they do. <laughs> And then with their action, they cast Sacred Flame on the octopus. So, Emmy, please make a dexterity saving throw. I mean, <laughs> what do you expect? Don't be mm. mad at me. So it's dexterity saving? Dex save. Uh, 15. All right. You succeed. Uh, next, this one moves over to you. Oh, they're going to make some die. attacks. 
<clears throat> What's your octopus's AC, by the way? Not great. Um, Is there a 16 a and second. Have right here. a 17? Oh, yeah, those are going to hit. Yeah, those will hit. This <laughs> okay. Also, um, hey, Velatira and Hellspawn, both of you, thank you so much for raiding our channel. We're in the midst well. of a wild, was a ship to ship battle, and then now it's a player to ship battle. Uh, things are getting really spicy, but thank you so much for coming on over to the, the show and bringing your community. Um, this is this is going to get pretty tense, just so you all know. We're in the they're in the thick of it. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for being here, and I hope that you like our uh, combat field adventure today. Uh, so Emmy, mm -hmm. you're taking two shots. Okay. Total of fourteen damage. With okay, their mace. Fine. Up next. The person in charge. Where is he that? is going to cast Bless on herself. This person and we'll go this person. All right, so she casts Bless and is going to stand her ground. Uh, up next, uh, one of these is gone actually, so I'll say this one is gone. You're down to one. <clears throat> Up next is this gentleman. Moves 30 feet this way. And let's see. They're going to dash over to you. Make that their turn. This one is going to pop over here, <clears throat> use their crossbow, and they look to be more adept at attacking whenever their friends are nearby. That's an 18 to hit the octopus. Uh -huh, that hits. And you take nine damage. This one moves here. Moves up and they're gonna, um, they're gonna ready an attack. Azric, you are 15 feet off of the map. What would you like to do? I'll move 30 and, and blast the the leader. So you are here. Yeah, uh, go for it. Okay. I'm going to twin spell one to hit um, this character next to Okay. Let me. So the first two will be on the first person. Uh, I think 10 is a miss. Yes, that will miss. And a 21. Uh, 21 does hit. Uh, go ahead and roll. Okay. That is uh, 16 damage. 16 damage and the twin Elge blast for the night next to Emmy that's a 22 to hit it hits and that one does eight damage ready eight damage 
Uh, she is going to roll for her concentration for bless. Let me get these concentration markers set up here so I can remember. Let's see. Mm. Oh, she does not make a concentration check. <clears throat> no oh. more bless. Hell yeah. And as a bonus action, I'm going to summon a tentacle right here. Through the, the boss lady. And, okay. And Emmy. Let me get all these removed. And you said a tentacle friend. Yes, sir. Oh. It's going to gonna take a swipe at the lady. Go for it. Uh, 16. Miss. All right, then. That is all I can do. Okay. Uh, next. This one. They're going to move forward. And they're going to swipe at Emmy. That is a natural 20. Um, yeah, they're gonna use their long sword. Takoyaki for dinner. And their martial advantage, which I believe will go extra. So. A 16 damage to you. Okay. My Tenny will react to mitigate the aid of that damage. Which is seven. You take nine, Emmy. <clears throat> cool. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Up next, this one is going to go here. Make a deck save. Me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what's an octopus is deck. I have it right here. 15. You save. Okay. Alrighty. Um, the scout at the top. She sees the threat shooting Eldritch Blasts, and she will shoot her arrow at you, <clears throat> Azric. Uh, but that's only a six, so she's going to miss. Very good. Um, Emmy. Okay, I have... I have a plan. I don't think it's going to work, but let's okay. try it. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, I want to... Can I... I have reach. Can I shove someone with reach? I want to try to shove her off the ship. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can you can shove someone with reach. Cool, I, I want to shove the not. leader. I want to try to shove the leader <laughs> overboard with my tentacles. Gotcha. She'll move five feet, so she'll be in this space. So it'll take a little more, but. <clears throat> oh, she would. I thought she'd go overboard, but she's a she'd be close to going overboard. Yeah. OK. Oh, or I could shove that person next to me, I suppose. <clears throat> they go overboard. Uh, no, which let's one see are you? her. Okay. Uh, this person, I could shove them overboard, maybe. Yeah, because uh, don't we use the optional rules where you can shove aside, if I'm not mistaken? 
Yeah. I just whack him with my tentacle into the water. You can try to do that. Um, I'm going to look at those optional rules real quick. I'm so very pleased. Maybe this will be the first time that my players <laughs> use an optional rule that we've been playing with two campaigns. Because they're a knight. They're listed as a knight, right? So they have like heavy armor on, right? So if I shove uh -huh. them in the water, they're going down. They're not going to have a good time. Okay, let's try to shove them in the water. It's a strength, right? Yeah, let me look at the optional rules. Let's see, let's see. Shove aside. You can force the target to the side rather than away. The attacker has disadvantage on its athletics check when it does so. So I would have disadvantage? Yes. Because you're Even shoving. Even though I've them. got tentacles with reach. Okay. Yeah, you're shoving them to the side, so it's harder than just pushing them away. Oh. Can I move into the other person's space temporarily to do it? I'm guessing not. Then you would also have disadvantage because you'd have to be yeah. Well, they're an enemy, so you can't stop in an enemy space anyway, so. Whatever, YOLO, let's do it. All right, roll with disadvantage your athletics as an octopus. Eight. They roll a 10. Uh, okay. Top of the round. First thing that happens is their ship is going to shoot at your ship again. Um, they're not going to get any advantages. Our ship would like to make a reaction dash. <laughs> Please. Hey, if, okay. if you had some sails and you could steer, then that would totally allow that. Um, oh, I, I'm so sorry. I got... Stressed out. I just wanted to say I'm healing as a bonus action. Sorry, Do continue. It. Um, that's a 17. Right? Yeah. So that hits. That's two hits. Third one is another hit. So three hits on you. Hard no. It's 19 to your hole on the first one, so it passes the threshold. Next one. It's 28, so that passes it. Last one. Seventeen, which I think barely passes the threshold. Alrighty, so with that first volley, um, just for everyone's awareness, your hull is down to eighty-eight. I'm scared. Um, and she looks over. She looks at the octopus. Doesn't doesn't know that it's a person. It's just the giant octopus attacking. Thinks that you're controlling it. So she looks to you, um, and she says, "This can stop at any time." And um, you hear a voice in your mind, Azric, um, from your plea for help, and um, this feels similar to the bathtub in the inn situation when you first contacted him except it's not like a drifting away and down experience it's like you were yanked and just pulled um, like you're just going under like tens and tens and tens of feet of water um, and this is happening um, not in the physical realm but in your mind um, so everyone else just sees you out there hanging out 
Uh, but for the brief split moment, you're pulled into that same area where you had a discussion where there's darkness all around you. And the only thing that you hear um, is if you can save yourself, then what good are you to me? And just as soon as you were pulled under, he flings you back up. Um, and then you sort of wake up drenched um, and back to reality. That's what fucking good are you? Does anyone else feel stressed when like you're out with a couple and they start fighting in front of you and you're just like, I don't know what to do. (laughs) Um, Hayden and Cooter, is there anything that you would like to discuss or talk over before this next round comes in? Um, I would say technically the captain has in the away party. So you're in charge. Yes. (laughs) We're going by Star Trek rules. (laughs) Hayden's... (laughs) Donning the cloak of the manta ray. Okay. Um, and he shouts, All right. Listen, you scumbags. I need one third of you making repairs to the hall. Another third. Find whatever you can. Oars, long pieces of timber. Get them in the water. Try to get this ship around. The last of you. Do whatever Kuda needs you to do. And then he's gonna jump. Okay. In and dash. So the cloak gives him a 60 foot swim speed. Uh huh. Dashing, that's 120 feet, right? Uh huh. So <laughs> underwater, he's gonna dive down a bit and start to make his way towards that other ship. So you're 120 feet, so you have dashed. Okay, and that's with your your action, bonus action, and movement, right? Being a rogue, because you can bonus action dash. Yes. Okay, 120 feet. Uh, I'm just going to put... Let's see. Down probably, say, 20 or so feet underwater. That puts you about... You're 60 feet away from their ship. Um, so you are... Welcome to the map, Hayden. Hey. Oh, I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to. I I forgot because I didn't want to interrupt. But I wanted to. I wanted to give him spider climb before he goes. Fair enough. You got spider climb. Hey. Thanks. That's all right. Thank yes yes. It's very helpful, actually. Yeah, to get up on that that boat. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything that you're doing, Cooter? You give him spider climb. You're yes. on the deck. Um, so I have we have questions. <laughs> Some of them yeah. being so we're okay. So we're still pretty far away. We can't see the ship from here. We're still in range of their cannons. Yes. Ideally, we want to try like. If we try to row away, I'm not sure how likely we are to get out of range of the cannons. But it would also take a hell of a long time to row to them, correct? Yeah, and this is a sailing ship too. So, like, it's not typically a ship that's going to be outfitted with, like, lines and lines of rows. And even trying Mm -hmm. to, like, makeshift Mm -hmm. do something like this is going to be well after combat's over. Yeah. Yeah, because it's kind of like we don't. I, I, because I think even if I tried to swim over myself, we just leave the ship to get bamboozled and 
I can't, I don't I can't swim there either. I'm just trying to think what our options are. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, Emmy, are you concentrating on any spells in, at the moment? Nope. Okay. Uh, hey, Eagles died. No, they didn't. One of the Eagles comes What's back. Eagles fell. No, one of them was banished, but she cast another spell and dropped her concentration. It was banished. <laughs> Banishment. Oh, because it blinked out. Oh, I misunderstood. Send me no. a I would have had that eagle do something. That eagle's going for. Send me your eagle. <laughs> yeah, I'll let your eagle have a turn. Send me um, into the deep fiery pits of Mordor. Because it should have, it should have, it should have dropped when she cast bless. Which I think was a turn ago, if I'm not mistaken. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that it was a... I just thought it was gone. Um, so there's an eagle um, yeah. waiting to pick you up on the deck, Cooter. And then next round, um, it can go all the way to where Hayden is. But in terms of Maybe a little ship, more. Um, oh, yeah, that was the other question. If we... How long would it take the crew to... <laughs> yank the cannons can we move the cannons to the other side of the ship if we can't move, turn the ship around um I think that would be a reasonable ask to do but it would take a while right yeah that's what I um, thought too I and then, if we drop the anchor can we swing around if you drop your anchor I, you would slowly drift and turn around <laughs> yeah slowly. it would still take time, yeah it's not an it's... immediate action I will say I, I you mentioned cannons other side if that's going to be a thing that you're going to try to do they're just going to try and do it too so yeah because I think we, we already agreed that they, they were doing that right I wasn't going oh, to I wasn't going to bring it into play unless y'all brought it into play so Because I don't want to leave the ship completely defenseless either, but I also can't do anything against cannons with no cannons. I mean, so it we can stop anytime, to... anytime that y'all want. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I, I... I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, talk to you. What did you? What did you tell them, Hayden? You said to start preparing, fixing the hull, and what was the other one? It, it was more like just trying to do stuff. Get get them to stay on task. Like yeah, you know they've seen the ship take a bunch of damage. So some people should be moving on repairs. Some people. It's more for flavor yeah, than right. the thing. Okay. The big thing All was right. listen to Cooter. <laughs> All right, crew. This is what we have to do. There's there's one eagle left. I have to go help our Conrad. So I really need you to all pull it together now. And I need you to do a couple of things. Make sure you understand. Karzak, Kurzak, both of you, brains on this time, okay? Get the best people on task. We're, what we're going to have to do is be a little bit tricksy here. We're going to need to move the cannons to this side of the ship as quickly as we can, okay? However, in the meantime, we don't want to make it look like that's what we're doing. So go and get Chowder's hat, raise it on whatever stick you can find, start waving it around, all right? I'm going to go and try to help our team, make it look like you've surrendered, get those cannons ready and have them ready to fire just in case, all right? He, Prepare and Karzak wide-eyed and Karzak looking at this gun crew is, is just like... <laughs> and they just kind of just nod... And she takes him by the hands and she's like, I I trust you. I believe in you. You've got this. We've come this far, all right? Everything will be fine. Mm-hmm. And who's the, who's the next you. one in line who's in charge? Is Whisper even on the boat? Whisper's in charge now if you leave. <laughs> all right. Whisper, you know what to do. <laughs> 
Yeah, if you had any fucking smarts, you would have surrendered by now. I'm not letting these <laughs> fucking people die. Well, I'm not the one who made the rules up until now, so... <laughs> You know how Azarik is a little bit of a loose cannon, just like all of ours that are in pieces strewn about the the deck. <laughs> what do you think you'll do if I raise the white flag? I don't know, but what else, what other choice do we have? She looks, she goes, we've got 20 crew members who are looking to us to take charge here. And I don't think because of pride we lose this ship. But I don't know what to do. If we try and put down skids, they'll probably pick us off one by one. Unless we make it to a nearby island or something, but it's a long shot. So what do you suggest in this moment we do while everyone's over there taking over this other ship? You honestly believe they're going to take over that ship? I have faith in them, I do, yes. Well. We've gotten this far. Yes, we'll just see what happens then. You sound doubtful. This crew needs more than that to get through this. It's hard to be upbeat when I inherit a ship who's gone through four different changes in commands as people left the ship with no cannons left having to be pulled over and taking on water. Two more volleys and we're sunk. I agree, but there's nothing else we can do from here right now, is there? It's do or die, Whisper. (laughs) (laughs) And she looks at the ship, the mask (laughs) cracked in half, the wheel like locked in place and crushed and she goes, be fucking honest, not a lot we can do, but go on then. <laughs> I wish we could. Have, I wish I could take Whisper with me. I wish I could send Whisper instead and just stay. I don't know. You literally could. How power is she? Is she more powerful than I am? Can I send her instead? <laughs> just kidding. I have to go vomit on people because apparently that's how <laughs> we, we need win. your vomit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Whisper's in charge of doing Alrighty. whatever it is she's going to do to salvage this situation. Because, of the, okay, As if if you feel that surrendering is the best thing, you can feel free to do that. Either way, I'm going to that ship and I'm going to stop them from doing anything about your surrender. Just How about that? Any. Excellent. <laughs> jump off on my eagle like freaking Gandalf. <laughs> and off you you <laughs> put on your pointy hat and you just <laughs> and you go. Alrighty, beginning of the round. Um, this gentleman, <laughs> this bloke, is uh. Let's see. And you're still flying, Azric. How long do, can you fly? I believe it's ten rounds. Ten rounds, okay. Uh, oh yeah, person. one minute. Yeah, ten rounds. Yeah. They're going to move here. Um, And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Me? Um, Yes. You, Azric. Okay. I'm going to activate my talisman. Give me a D4. Okay. Uh, 16. All right. You succeed. Their concentration drops. Uh, next. Oops. Sorry. I messed up the round thing. 
this gentleman. Uh, they're going to swing at an octopus. <laughs> Alright, first swing uh, is a hit. Okay. You take four bludgeons. The next swing is also a hit. And you take an additional five bludgeons. So nine okay. total. <clears throat> Up next. You see this person cast a spell. You, Azric. <laughs> All right. Let's see there, there's 65, so there. 10 foot radius. Ten foot radius circle. Um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, and you see her conjuring, um, and reaches up to the sky, reaches skyward, and looks above. And as you sort of look upwards, you see a large vertical column of fire descend down upon you. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay, smart. <laughs> uh, and... Hey, see how that goes? That is a 12. A 12 is exactly what you needed. Ooh. <laughs> um, you will take... 4d6 fire and 4d6 radiant halved. Oh okay. boy. Oh boy. I am boy. resistant to radiant. Gotcha. So radiant damage you'll take three total. Okay. Uh, fire you will take 15 halved, so seven. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty. And then that goes away. Up next is this knight who sees or saw what Amy was trying to do and is going to move through their friend right here. Stay away from the edge of the ship. <clears throat> and... They're going to attack you with their greatsword. First attack is a natural one. Second one is... 16. I think that hits, yeah. <laughs> That's 11 slashing damage to the octopus. Okay. How are you looking? I don't have a hit point. Alrighty. Um, up next, this one is going to shoot at you with the crossbow. Sure. Uh, 
That one's gonna miss though. With advantage too. <laughs> Next is this one. Strategist. Let's see. I think he will get that longbow at you that he's got. No. That is 17 to hit. Yeah, it hits. It doesn't matter. I'm not a doctor. Well, I just need to know how much damage carries over. Uh, you take 12 damage. This one's... Okay, I'm no longer a giant octopus. <laughs> okay. They're also exploiting um, weaknesses while you are dealing with other um, people. I'll let you choose what square you go into. I want to be on this square. It won't let me because it's not my turn. Just tell um, me. This one. There. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Azric, it's your turn. Okay. I have, have an idea. If I throw a vial of acid at this flaming brazier at that tip of the ship, my intent is to have the acid catch on fire and kind of do splash damage on the deck to ignite the ship. I don't think that would be enough fire damage to ignite a ship, to be honest. In order to do like major damage like that, because hulls have a threshold too of damage, so... Right. You'd need like fireball, like that kind of stuff to to get that going. Okay. Yes. All right, I will then move thirty. I'm gonna I'm gonna blast this guy right here. Go for it. And then I'll I'll twin spell a bolt to the the boss lady. All right, first guy uh, is a 19 to hit. Uh, that hits him. Excellent. That does um, 17 damage. 17 damage. All righty. Definitely hurts. Uh, second bolt, 16 to hit. That hits him. Uh, that's 14 damage. 14 damage. Tartan still alive. And then the twin spell to the boss lady, uh, 16. Miss. And then Pentacle is going to smack um, Fanatic Guy. Or a 27 to hit. That hits. 27. Woo wee! Six uh, cold damage. Alrighty. Now they're dead. Yes. Oh. All right. That is all I can do. Gotcha. Um, up next is Giant Eagle, and I'm assuming that it is dropping off Cooter. Um, we so eat as fast as we can. <laughs> it uses its entire turn to bring Cooter here. <laughs> uh, and then Cooter, you can join the initiative. So go ahead and let me know what your initiative is. What was it? I missed. You're muted. It was a six. It was a long S slide. Six. <laughs> Alrighty. And then since you're riding the eagle now, it's going to be on your initiative. Unless it's going to act intelligently. I don't know. That's up to Emmy. Okay. Uh, up next is this strategist. <clears throat> going to move up. It is going to slash at Emmy. And okay. that is uh, only a 10, so it's going to miss you. <clears throat> this other fanatic. Okay. 
Let's see. <laughs> uh, make a wisdom saving throw, Azric. You got it. Um, uh, eleven. You are paralyzed. I have freedom of movement and cannot be paralyzed. There you go. Very nice. Hey. Yes. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Now that they know, and knowing is half the battle. Um, Cooter. Oh Trying boy, to bring here I Hayden am. Into the fray too. I forgot to grab your initiative, initiative, Hayden. So let me know. But go ahead, Cooter. I am so far away. 19. Um. Where, where am I? Where is everybody? I'm so far away. I'm all the way over here. Hmm. You're on an eagle, uh, by the way. So. Oh, okay. How far can I move? You could hop off the eagle and swim if you wanted, but but it would. But that's what I'm saying. Like the it would fifteen feet my, unless you have a swim speed. Which I don't yeah, think you do. exactly. No, like so. I I might as well just <laughs> prepare a spell while still on the eagle. <laughs> yeah, Is there any, I mean Hayden's um, next to you. He's down there too. How you doing down there, Hayden? <laughs> I'm a, I made it. Whispers in charge. All is well. Um, He's like 15 feet underwater. <laughs> <laughs> he just hears it. <laughs> She's very perspe- perceptive. Okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. Um, Hayden, go ahead and take your turn since I forgot to grab your initiative earlier, and then you'll still take it normally after this. So. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna use my bonus action. To dash again, so 120 feet of movement. All the moves. Wow. Yeah, so that. Oops. With that movement, I could get here. Uh, or maybe I can't. Just tell me where you want to go, because I think these ship tokens that I have have like built in walls and stuff. So. Gotcha. So. <laughs> On that side of the ship, on the stern there, that's 80 feet of movement. I want to go yep. there and then with the remainder of my movement, try to climb up. Yes, on spider to the, climb. Yes, yeah, spider uh, climb. Boom, you're up. So, and I want to <laughs> it sneakily get up behind boss lady and basically with a weapon to her back, try to end you the don't fight. have enough actions to sneak up to anybody I don't you used your action you used I used bonus. Um, a bonus action and then your movement to go get up on the ship 60 right okay. well, I have 120 feet of movement I used 80 to get to the back of the ship yeah. climbed up on the ship Mm-hmm. Let's see with spider climb so I'm <clears throat> let's see I mean you tell me what I forgot you have spider climb yeah I, I'm not so yeah yeah, yeah. so you got 60 feet under the water is your movement and then you used a dash which is okay so yeah you've got an, you've got an action but we're yeah so what so I'm saying I, is, is you can't sneak up and just end it. You could attack her like it's a battle going on now. But if you wanted to try and be stealthy, you could. I guess the idea was to try and come up behind her and uh, he's got chainmail and a shield on. Um, 
normally like like sneaky like sneaky rogue like slitting people's throats like kidney stabbing that might work like outside of combat on like normal people but within combat you can come up and and stab her but it's not gonna like insta kill or anything like that i'm so i wasn't actually going to attack okay you're just gonna hold, try to hold her up yeah and say something like mm -hmm. both of our ships are dead in the water your crew doesn't want to die mine doesn't want to die let's find a way to resolve this he didn't cast that ass for you basically <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and then you will see what happens later on. Uh, oh on her turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. This scout here is going to shoot at Azric. And so I, I just it's... I just held it. I can hold an action on my on my you turn then until can't. I'm in mm -hmm. rage here. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 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 Uh, just let That's me know what you're what you're gonna turn, hold. Huh? So. Um. I was actually gonna hold a web. Okay. Because gotcha. now Hayden's already on the boat. Yeah. So. yeah. Eighteen to hit you, Azric. Uh. You take five. Alrighty, and then Emmy. Okay, y'all ready for this? <laughs> Go for it. Emmy casts Conjure Elementals. Okay. And um, four. Sorry. Um, Cooter's the Scooter's Eagle disappear. Yeah, sorry, Cooter. You get dropped Good into night. the water, Cooter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can swim. You're fine. I was, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll get there by the time the battle's over. It's all right. I'm going to cast for Magmin. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Magmin. <laughs> Okay. Not well, Maxman. Yeah. Magman. And um, four of them are going to appear. Where is the down to go down towards where their cannons and their gunpowder is? That's where they're going to appear. Let me see right now. Um, if there's multiple downs, then I'm going to spread them out because it just says I can conjure them wherever <laughs> there's an unoccupied space within range. Yeah, I mean, there's there's two ways down. So you cool, have four I want two magmen. <laughs> there's your magmen. And they listen to me, and I'm going to say, I'm going to just say, uh, like, listen to Hayden, lay down your arms. And if they don't, and then I look at the magnet and I'm going to say, find the gunpowder. So basically, they're going to go set the gunpowder on fire if they don't listen to what Hayden is saying. Gotcha. I'm trying to reinforce his play. All right. Basically, gonna... surrender or we all go boom. Are you OK with me just doing the roll initiative by the... Let's <laughs> make it Whatever easier. Whatever you want to Whatever okay. you want to do to make it easier is fine by me. Um, alrighty. I'm mostly just using them as a threat, hopefully, anyways. Yeah. So, top of the round, the ship takes the turn before the round starts. Um, um, let's see. VS, check your DMs, please. What? Secrets? <laughs> oh, that's right. You guys, we forgot that VS works for the order. 
We're screwed. This is where he's going to turn on us. Or I'm like, what did you mean by what you said? I don't want to talk to talk to it on stream. And okay. It's literally his message. What is your intent on this? <laughs> uh, okay. They're going to fire cannons at you all. Um, four, three of them. Are they not let's, surrendering? Let's I, just I, hope we still got out of range. Top of the round, this is happening before the captain, the boss lady gets a chance to. Yeah. Gotcha. Turn gotcha. Order. Okay. Um, so two hits. Panic. First hit. Oh, 34. Second hit. Alrighty. <laughs> Um, we kill our entire crew and whisper. We're all gonna die. Um, there's 23 hull left on your ship. If it reaches zero, it will sink. Like that's that's it, and anything on your ship will sink. Um, the magmen are waiting to see what happens. Um, I will say. This person is going to wait and see what happens. Um, and then let's see. Um, let's see if you wouldn't mind really quickly. Um, just for RP purposes for a moment. Uh, can you all talk about amongst yourselves what's going on as your ships almost sinking for a second? Uh, well, I'll use the bathroom real quick. <laughs> What's <laughs> on? Going through your heads. <laughs> Just panicking that we're all going to heck and die. <laughs> and that Whisper will be dead and we'll be stuck on this ship and Blackbeak will kill us all. What do you think's going to happen? We surrender. We're good as dead anyways. So miles away I'll go out with blast blazing. Emmy's just thinking Azric is our captain and this is not the right call, but I'm going down with the ship. Well, I've lived a long, happy life anyway, I guess. Um, I'm really wondering what Taj is thinking. <laughs> Taj is still asleep on our ship. <laughs> She's still asleep. She's like, what's going on? What I are believe the DMs doing doing to speculate on people who are not here. Okay. Ugh. But if this ship goes down, Hooter, you can come fish us out of the wreckage, right? Uh, I can try. I want you to give, I want you to have a dramatic scene giving Azric a CPR to bring him back to life. <laughs> It'd be yeah, amazing. Breathe and swim underwater. And I can't, apparently. So can you, Abby. I'll be fine. I'm just going to swim home after this. I'll be very dead total. I'm just going to go down. Bye. The consensus is we are all panicking. E. <laughs> okay. So it comes up to the captain's turn. Um, and this is like, just as the fire or the cannons have fired, uh, your ship is starting to list. Um, it's it's like playing Sea of Thieves and everyone is like, oh, I think we can do is start patching holes. Like, yeah, everyone's grabbing boards and hammering on the side and keeping your ship from sinking. Um, Hayden comes in behind this lady 
um, gets the drop on her. Um, and basically at the same time, she holds her hand up uh, in the air to signal them to stop at the same time that you see um, the white of Chowder's chef hat come up from <laughs> from uh, <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and you can see that that Kurzak is is sort of put it on like a ten foot pole and is like waving it. Um. So. Um. It seems like both sides have understood that there was a very high probability of mutual destruction <laughs> that was going to happen here, uh, and they have decided to to cease the combat um and you hear her say stop and then everyone just kind of stops the fighting they look around people were gonna lunge towards these little magman little guys um cooter sorry you're in the ocean just (laughs) your eagle disappeared the magmen are just going that's it just laying on my back floating (laughs) and waiting yeah um, and I think that that is an excellent time to end our episode, and then we will see what happens next time. Oh. And then Tosh wakes up. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out with us. Wow, I what a what a battle! What that was- a battle! Insanity. Uh, yeah. Don't forget MVP oh. because yo, mm-hmm. we're going to need it. So went exactly as I planned. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're new to the channel, thank you very much. We we do see all of the support, all of the follows, all the subscriptions on, on YouTube. Um, we very much appreciate it. Uh, one thing we do at the end of each episode is we post the list of each of the characters. Uh, and you can decide who was the MVP for the session. Whoever is the MVP will get an inspiration that they can use. That's how we divvy out inspiration here. Um, so the poll is now live in chat. If you haven't, please go check out our YouTube channel um, where we have um, our content, our VODs over there. Um, and we also have our podcasts, which you can look at. But if you want early access to those things, check out our Patreon. Um, and let us know what you think of the episode today what you thought of it come check out our discord you can talk about all things campaign or whatever you want really there's there's a a nice active music channel in the community there too where we share lots of metal songs (laughs) with each other but anyway thanks so much for hanging out with us we very much appreciate it monday we're gonna be back for tome of knowledge our D &D podcast and then of course you'll definitely want to be back next friday for uh, episode 44 to figure out what in the hell is going to happen now uh, with with the group. So make sure to put your votes in the chat uh, to see who is going to be the MVP so they can get their inspiration that they can use. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, everybody. It was man, that was wild. That was wild. Our out of combat oh, is going to be interesting after <laughs> after the episode. And if you don't know, out of combat is only on YouTube and podcasts. It's not live, but it's our our show after the show where we talk about what happened. You get a little bit uh, peek behind the scenes of what the oh, players were thinking, what the DMs were thinking. I've got so, to say. <laughs> so it's gonna uh, be a spicy one. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a spicy one. Um, I think that it's safe to say with um seventy three percent of the vote is Emmy. So oh, Emmy, take ooh, the there you go. <laughs> take the <laughs> you. Uh, I'm inspiration. Need it. Um, for all those yeah, magmen, magmits, I mean, magmins, magmins, mag- magmins. Um, I didn't even know those were a thing. I was literally <laughs> like, it's like, here's all the elementals you can do. I'm like reading through all of them, like, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, <laughs> all those, all those magmins, all, all those, all those, uh, Dom, Don Drapers on the deck over here. <laughs> it's like four Don Drapers, yeah, ready to be designed. With but their cigarette anyway. lighters at the ready. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. They all flip they all their lighters out. Cigarette. Oh, yeah. Cool <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but anyway, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>